Hi, I'm Shay. I'm Anime. I'm Kay. And you're listening to The, the Chicane, Chicane Pod. Pod. So today we're going to do something a little bit different. Very different. Yeah, something that you guys have been harassing us for. And um, the last episode that we put up, obviously we... There was a little bit of dragging. A little bit of dragging, but you know, they've come through, guys. <laughs> they've come through. After, you know, going around interviewing with the whole town. Yeah. They've finally come to home. Do the last, last stop. stop. They've come to the last, last bus stop. They've come back to the last bus stop. The most stop. important. The most important. You know, they saved the best to last. So, guys, we are ecstatic to be interviewing Dami and, and India. India. The real winners of Love Island. Hi, guys. Hi, woo! Yeah! 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 Dami, 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 Guys, so yeah, so welcome. Welcome, welcome. You guys should have gone for Sachi robes as well, though. You left out, man. You could give her a pink one. I wear a blue one. When you on on your one year anniversary, <laughs> yeah, we will right. make it to one year. You guys, you guys, yeah. make this to one year. Yeah. One year comes, and they don't get us the Versace robes. Harass we'll them. Yeah, why not? Yeah, you look. Pick your color. We'll pick get your color. All right, we'll come. Get you. All right, cool. Oh, Any color. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Ooh, you but yeah, we'll get it for you. We'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get it for you. But yeah, welcome. So, how are you guys? How are you both? Good. I, I, I'm good. I'm good. How are you, India? How was your trip here? It took you one year to get <laughs> yeah, One year, one year. <laughs> one year, 50 million miles. Hmm. <laughs> it was um, a, it was a... Was PLT a even deliver us faster than you, you know. <laughs> Why? You got jokes? I got a lot of jokes. <laughs> I got time for jokes. We always yeah. have jokes. <laughs> but, you know, it was, a, it was a journey, but I made it here. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm well. Mm. And I just want to thank you guys for having us on the show. Oh, yeah. And Most welcome. Yeah, you know, working on it. You know, it's just yeah. a lot of things. A lot okay. of things. Okay, guys, first observation I will <laughs> say is that Dami and India are beautiful. Yes, they are. Oh, so well, the you. camera, the camera does not give them the full Nah, India got the full India looked good throughout the <laughs> show. No, she no, no. Did. Look. She, I was. Listen, you guys need to gas me. Camera, she always looked no good trim. on camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But on camera, like India it. looked like a, a goddess. Yeah. yeah. But now she looks like a goddess times twenty. Mm -hmm. Like in person. Oh, no, seriously, guys, yeah. you're not prepared for how beautiful <laughs> Dami and India are in person. Mm. Like <laughs> it's crazy. Stunning. Like on camera, they're stunning. They're stunning, but in person, it's like, mm. okay, calm down. You don't do doing a lot there. <laughs> you know. Yeah, so we're, we're really happy to have you guys here. Okay. Um, we we do want to say that we don't want to focus the whole interview on Love Island because we know you've done yeah. a lot of that that already. We want to focus more on Dami and India, you guys mm -hmm. as people. So we wanted to start with, te you, if you guys can tell us a bit about yourselves before Love Island. So, you know, what did you do? What were you doing before then? So if we start with you, India, what was... What were you doing before then? Were you in school? Were you working? I what was, was doing going on? a lot of things. Mm. Literally, so literally before I went into Love Island, I was, I just got offered a job at Dior mm. and I was there for a month. And then before Dior, I was working as a hotel waitress at mm. Four Seasons. So I was just doing a lot of working. Um, and I was trying to get into um, like fashion buying. Mm -hmm. So I was doing a lot of like agency work and like high-end stores. Then that's when I went, went into Dior and then obviously like Love Island happened. And I was just like, well, <laughs> Okay, <laughs> another thing. I've just started a career and now it's like, do something else. But um, yeah, I've just been doing that. But then I've always done like modeling, like on the side, like mm. quote unquote, like influencing, like just mm. for fun. So I guess now it's like become a full-time job now and before I was just doing it for fun. Yeah. But, um, do you enjoy yeah. it? Yeah, I am. You know what? It's because it's <coughs> on such a large scale. So what I was doing before is nothing in comparison to this. Like it's huge. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I'm actually trying to adjust. So even with like lateness and all that stuff, it's like, this is a new life for me. <laughs> and I'm trying, like I'm trying. But um, overall, I do enjoy it. Do you know what I mean? And it's like, I can't complain, you know, mm. it's su such a hard life, mm. but <laughs> not, but do you know what I mean? So other than that, but it's been great. What about you, Dami? What were you doing before? Uh, so before basically it was more, like obviously I finished uni in that and I had did science degree. So I was kind of like doing microbiology and I kind of work four days on, four days off, but I had like a team. So I'd manage the team and do like lab-based stuff, like a lot of science stuff. Everybody asked me, oh, can you guys give us more detail? 
but I don't want to talk about it because yeah. it's a long stretch. Of, like I'll be telling you guys about bacteria, mm. like all the different types of <laughs> bacteria. But what's the point of that? Yeah. But no, but genuinely, I actually love my job because it's like, because because of the way I, I kind of am as a person. Like when I do something, I really I'm not trying to gas myself, but I do it well. Mm. So I kind of got myself to that to where I was pretty fast. Mm. Like I was managing people that were there like before me mm. and they're older than me as well mm. so it's like mm. like that kind of relationship i had with them and it just felt like a family so but i feel like obviously oh you're talking about my microbiology <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. i wasn't even doing it that way i was just she saying was actually yeah, 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 yeah. like listening yeah, yeah, yeah. like hearing him yeah. speak and like sounding so passionate about his yeah. job like it's yeah. hot i was just yeah. like yeah, yeah, you yeah, know yeah. what i mean yeah, yeah. But nothing to do with the money. I am. Yeah. Like, nothing to do with the money. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, all right, cool. But yeah, and obviously, outside of that, I was kind of doing like I was just taking pictures on Instagram because I like fashion, and I like clothes, so I buy clothes because I'm a serial shopper. Mm. So I just buy, especially sneakers. So I just buy it and just style stuff up and then put it. Even though I had low followers and all that, people just kept telling me I was an influencer and all that stuff. And then they were kind of like, everyone's always saying, damn, we're just waiting for you to blow. Mm -hmm. Like people should recognize you for what you're doing out here. So then obviously I applied for Love Island, forgot I did it. And then obviously I bagged Love Island because my personality got me that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So obviously, yeah, I did that. And then I've come out and then it's like all the stuff that I was doing before that wasn't actually my job, like like fashion and stuff. It's like people are actually acknowledging me for it now. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's pretty good, like, but... Yeah, that's that's really what I was doing. Where do you think you get your fashion oh, sense from? Because you're you're quite I from my imagination, really, and from like all the stuff that I see. Like even if it's like women's fashion, guys' fashion, I kind of integrate with each other. Mm -hmm. So like I can see like women like wearing clothes and the way they wear. I'm like, oh, that's sick. Mm -hmm. Not even I'm not even looking at the girl. It's just literally like the pieces together. and how they mm -hmm. put it together. And then if you can incorporate in a way like a guy can do it as well, but it's still like mm -hmm. in a guy's fashion. Like I love women's fashion as well because mm -hmm. I feel like mm -hmm. even women's fashion, you guys can pull a lot of stuff off, mm. a lot of stuff off. <laughs> Whereas with guys, it's like, it's kind of, you can do so much, but you kind of, you get scrutinized for trying to be a yeah. bit different yeah. sometimes. Yeah. Whereas women, you can do everything. Like yeah. you guys can wear boyfriend jeans. If a guy is wearing mom jeans, yeah. it's a bit, <laughs> it's a whole bit yeah. of different story. Like, yeah. but nah, but honestly, yeah. like, yeah. yeah. So it just comes from my imagination. And I saw that you're also a huge anime fan as well. Yeah, that, huge anime. Sure. Your, your name is anime. <laughs> it sounds like anime. And I'm a huge, I feel like people don't realize Maybe they didn't show that in Love Island, but yeah. we, Ken and I, we spoke about anime a lot. Yeah. But he's not as much of an anime guy as I am. Because yeah. I'm still putting him onto stuff. He's even texting me on TikTok yesterday. Yeah. Like, oh, what's this one about? And I oh, put him onto yeah. something else. So. Do you watch with the subtitles then? Or do you yeah, think? Japanese audio. Because yeah. I feel like when you watch it with like the English, it just doesn't sound it's authentic. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I saw a recent um, video that you posted on Instagram and it was, I think it was, it was fashion, but anime. Yeah, yeah, oh, I did yeah. I did it with two guys, mm, Ali and Denzel, cool. Ali and Denzel Corey. Man, those guys are actually so creative. Mm. They're lit. It's so cool. It's so cool. You come out of Love Island and I'm making like friends with these new type of people and like we're all kind of like working together and it's yeah. like we all kind of share the same like mindset about how we like yeah. stuff and do stuff. And they're showing me new tricks as well. Yeah. And I'm showing them new stuff as well. So it's, it's good. Like it's good. So, so give us your top five anime um, series that you think that people All right. Check so out. Steins Gate, uh, Trapped in a Dating Sim, The World is The, the li Life is Tough for Mobs, um, Shield Hero, Erased. And your name. Okay. Go but there's way, way more. But those ones, if you watch, yeah. you won't be disappointed. Okay. India, are you into anime now? Is he, is Not yet. She has Not yet. Do you know what? I've been a big, like, I like the whole aesthetics of anime. Yeah. But I've never had time to, like, dive in and watch it. I've watched, like, one. But it's like, you really have to commit and, like, have time mm -hmm. to watch it. And I've just never had time. But I'm not against it. Like, I'm still waiting for us to just, like, chill and just, like, watch a couple of yeah. 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 When we get our but, own place properly, we'll just be on the TV. Yeah, it will probably get no me hooked changing on it. channel. will be like, sit down if you want to watch. <laughs> <laughs> It'll probably get me hooked on it pretty soon. And it's an interesting but. thing, your aesthetic, you mm. give you me do give anime. Anime. Yeah, yeah like I think anime, I'm quite yeah. like I don't know, people say like this quirky and cute. Yeah, give, yeah. And give yeah. Definitely. Mm. What did he say? I give Pix pixie. Like pixie anime, like, 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 oh, like goth, yeah. a bit of goth, a bit of yeah. Yeah, anime. I think I yeah. like switch it up like mm. a lot, but mm. I'm very like I feel like I'm quite versatile, I'm quite open to just mm. trying new styles and new stuff. So definitely. Yeah. Okay. If I was an anime head, then you'd hear me like chatting about it, but I just haven't had the time to dive into it. I don't really see it. that though. <laughs> I haven't had time to dive into it. I think it will. I think like you said, once you guys get yeah, settled, yeah. then you're able No, she would like a couple of animes, but mm. I don't see her becoming this. No, I won't become like, like, I don't think that's like about a her. deep into it. No, no, but she watched she watch a couple. I rubber shop. <laughs> 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 so, so, so like Shay said that we wanted to talk about Love Island but not like in too much detail mm. but I guess um, what would be interesting actually so so you applied Dami you applied yeah, yeah, yeah. so India did you apply or were you headhunted 
So they reached out to me. I was actually meant to go on last year as a bombshell. Oh. And looking at it now, I'm like, me, you're a fucking bombshell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? <laughs> but um, I literally did the whole process. And then obviously because of COVID, they were like, look, by the time you quarantine and whatever, it's just gonna be too late. Yeah. Like, so we're just gonna have to not do this year. And they reached out to me again this year. And we're like, oh, you got so far. Like, do you wanna give another shot? And I was like, okay. Like I was yeah. not taking it seriously. And like I did the whole process, everything. And I still weren't taking it seriously. Cause I was like, well, you fobbed me off last year. So yeah. mm. let me just carry on with my job. And then I got the call like, you know, they really love you and they want you to fly out to Mallorca. I remember I was literally in Knightsbridge about to get on the tube to go home after my shift. Mm. And they're like, yeah, we want you to fly out next week, Thursday. I was like, what? <laughs> and I just remember sitting on the tube, yeah, and I'm like, these lot don't even know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> it was so crazy and I was just like, shit. But then I still wasn't like, because they always say to you, like, you're not in the villa until you're in the villa. Yeah, so until yeah. I walked in, I was not taking it seriously. Yeah. Yeah. Until they put me in that car, and then I saw the big love heart, and I thought, shit. Yeah, <laughs> real. But, yeah, I mean, that was yeah. it, really. So, so did you see anybody, like, during the... the, the uh, Certain. No. Did you see anybody no, before? We had, we had blind, well, the guys had blindfolds. We so had we were in, blind. like, so we were all in, like, a hold... Not, like, a holding villa, like, getting yeah. ready. Mm -hmm. But we were all in, like... um separate sections yeah. mm. and then we had to move around like they would put me in like a car but they were like injured don't turn around like mm -hmm. fix this way oh. because we know like there's other like islanders mm -hmm. in the area yeah. they want us to see but um yeah i had i had no clue who was gonna yeah. be there or who was going in at all so 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 what is it like when you first walk in like like what did you see when you first walked in so i walked in first with paige so like i didn't see anyone else it was just me and paige together yeah. and then i didn't even know i was gonna be the first girl walking in yeah until i was in the car and Paige was behind me, I thought, shit, we're first. Yeah. Like, we're literally first. Yeah. So when I walked in, it was just fresh villa, looking at the whole scenery and everything. And I was like, wow, like, this is about to be my home for the yeah. next eight weeks, maybe. Yeah. But um, yeah, and then obviously people started rolling in after. Did you have any reservations? Like, did you have any reservations before you got there? Like, what were your thoughts? Like, did you have any bad thoughts, good thoughts? Like, what were your... Well, like just in general, like in how general, like both of you, like what were your thoughts about the process, about the I show? Just hope, like, I just hope a girl that I was attracted to is going to be in there, yeah. like, genuinely, and I hope someone that actually would see me as a type as well mm. is going to be in there. Like, I feel like going in, like you always see, like obviously there's white people and they might not be attracted. Mm -hmm. Third types are usually brunettes and mm. and you know those colors were hair or whatever. Mm. That, those are the types. So when you know they're talking about that, it's white people. Mm. So I was yeah. just hoping, obviously type would actually be in there mm. so but i kind of got hints that she, she would be in there yeah, yeah i got hints <laughs> but i, got, I, got I didn't a few hints know there. like because i got hints yeah so like obviously i told the producers like you know what i like and what i was looking for and like yeah angel we got somebody just for you because i was i literally <laughs> said <laughs> i said <laughs> fresh <laughs> trim i said tat i said you know tall handsome and then i go in there and then you couple me up with someone that's not get tat Mm. And that, that's not what I said. <laughs> like, this isn't what I said. So I was just a bit like, okay, you guys are playing games. Like, I mean, because when yeah, Dami first yeah. walked in, that's mm -hmm. what I thought, okay, mm -hmm. fair enough. Mm -hmm. And then that was the same thing I he thought, walked past okay. me. I thought, oh, fair enough. You lot are walking past me. It wasn't my choice. I walked past you, though. Yeah. No, but um, yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah. it was public. Yeah. Right? No, I, think, yeah. I think they did that for a story. They definitely I think did they it on purpose. What, like... They wanted, obviously, that, and then obviously us to kind of like probably find our way together. Like, mm. Do you know what? We see it, if we saw it differently, because the last, for the last few Love Islands, we've also, we've always complained about them putting black people, well, especially men, in the villa that don't date black women. Mm. Mm -hmm. So I think that, for me, I actually felt it was really good what Love Island did this season, yeah. making sure that the public mm -hmm. were the people that voted and put people together. Yeah. Because unfortunately, the public actually see who should be with who. So yeah. even though, like you said, you wouldn't have necessarily picked Ikenna, yeah. the fact that they made sure that the black women were coupled up with people that would more than likely like them, like them mm -hmm. back, yeah. you know, I think that was, was actually a good, a good thing. And also as well, like from the jump, you and um, what was the other lady girl's name? Um, Amber. 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 You and Amber were not seen as undesirable, but normally they make the mm. black women look undesirable. But you guys were but the whole like picking mm. off. Yeah, yeah, you guys, yeah, you guys were hotties from the beginning. Yeah. So you know, it, it set the it tone, helped set the narrative. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was when like Laura said it, it was kind of weight off my shoulders because Loki, I was thinking, I'm not trying to step forward and no one steps back. Yeah. Like I was like, I remember. Would you actually my... not step forward though? I would have stepped forward, but I'd been thinking, time. shit, yeah. is he gonna <laughs> step back? Well, like, actually, what I was the hell? They would have just did that instead. No, I remember speaking to my chaperone. I was like. Obviously, yeah, and like I know my source, I know I'm a cute girl. Yeah. But like I was saying, I was saying to her, like, what if I step forward and mm. these are looking at me like, what are you stepping forward for? Mm. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? Mm. I was like, what do I do? She's like, just step forward for everyone. I'm thinking, 
for him. Ah, uh, come on. I was now. like, no. Not yeah. for everyone. Yeah. I mean, like, imagine, yeah. okay, you can't step, for, if, if you step forward and it was for me, you don't have to step forward yeah, again. Yeah, that's fine. I wouldn't okay, step forward okay. again. <laughs> <laughs> Drag it back. Yeah, where you going? You can, though. You can, You can, though. You can, You should not. Yeah. You shouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> no, but for real, you have a lot of, like, expectations. Like, me going in, I 100% knew I was like, shit, I could potentially go in, I could be the only black girl, mm. nobody's my type, I'm not their type, and I'm screwed. Mm. But then, and even before, like, I saw so many think pieces on Twitter and people were saying, oh, I hope it's an all white cast this year, I hope mm. no black girl goes on. And I was looking at it thinking like, yeah, am I making the right decision? Well. Like, what's mm-hmm. going on? But then I said to myself, like, I don't want my race to be a reason why I don't do something. Mm. And I'm so glad that I went for it and just did it. Because I feel like now, like, other girls can be like, well, why can't I have the same experience as everybody else? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. why can't I just live my life, be young, free, and just have fun? You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm kind of glad I went for it, but you have those well, thoughts. The thing is, now you've made that comment, I can ask a bit of a deeper question, because I, was, I, I was going, wasn't going to, but mm. um, you said you didn't want your race to make you not do something. Mm. Mm. But were you conscious of the fact that you're a dark-skinned black woman while you were in the house and the moves, kind of moves you were making? Were you conscious yeah. of that? I mean, absolutely. Like, you can't forget who you are. Do you know mm-hmm. what I mean? It's obvious I'm black. And it's like, even being in that villa, yeah, we're all in the house, but you can you can tell when someone's not interested in you. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, like, even though, like, Dami was there and, like, Ikenna was there and they did send in certain bombshells that, you know, I was their type, I'm not going to lie. Like, if they weren't there, I would have fallen into that category and I would have been there with nobody. Mm-hmm. Because, like, I don't know, like, a tone I picked up, like, everyone's really nice, but it was a thing where... If you weren't attracted to somebody, you wouldn't even try mm. to be their friend. Mm-hmm. Bar an odd few like guys in there, but like a few guys in there, they wouldn't even want to like be your friend mm. in the first couple of days just because simply they didn't find you attractive. Yeah. So I kind of like in like looking back at like previous seasons and like seeing how things went with like other black girls and how they didn't make connection. I kind of I get it mm. because I feel like the type of men that go in there, like if you're not their type, they won't even try and make an effort or try and make you feel comfortable. So like, I'm grateful that there was black men in there that, you know, found me attractive and there was mm-hmm. people in that I could relate to, but I absolutely understand what it would feel like if it was the mm-hmm. other way around, because I felt it, but I was just lucky that Dami and other people were there. Yeah, yeah. So. I'm, I'm actually, for me, I really <clears throat> want to say like, I mean, I mean, I shouldn't have to kind of give a heads up to the black guys that we're in this year because I feel like it should just be anything. But mm-hmm. we know from previous seasons, we can't take it for granted that the black guys that are going to go in there are going to be respectful and mm-hmm. going to hail the black women that are in there. But this season, I feel like the black men that they chose to put in the villa, you guys really, really represented. Mm-hmm. And you made all of the black women feel like queens and yeah. you, respect, you were really respectful. Mm-hmm. So, you know, that is the bar, right? Yeah. So anything moving forward needs to be that and more mm. so um do you know what i think it is just actually doing research mm. because not every black guy is gonna like black women yeah. do you know what i mean we're all from different parts yeah. of the country the world but it's like do your research like if you're coming to interview me and i'm telling you what i like and i'm telling you my type and this that and that you need to do the research and yeah. find out someone that can match that don't go now mm. and find somebody where you know he's coming to you as a black man saying that you know what i like you know dark hair and blonde yeah and all yeah. this yeah. Yeah. like just, just be real do you know what i mean be real so do you think because previous seasons They've, some of the contestants have said that they ask the questions, like they, they fill out forms mm-hmm. and it basically says, um, you know, what's your preference and blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. But then some of them lie on there and say like, mm-hmm. just so I do like, yeah, yeah, just to get in the house. Then Potentially, they Potentially, I mean that, um, maybe, mm-hmm. I don't know what they're doing on the applications. I mean, they could be, but I don't know, maybe because I'm black, but like if I'm interviewing <laughs> you, I can see if, if you're telling me fibs or not, mm-hmm. do you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, um, I, feel, I feel like you guys, like the whole stigma of like, cause, of previous years, black guys aren't attracted to black women. Mm-hmm. I feel like you guys, like, years coming on as well, like, next shows is that ends as well. I feel like black guys coming, you shouldn't project previous guys. Because I was mm-hmm. getting a lot of, Dami likes white girls, Dami only likes white girls kind of stuff. Whereas you don't even know me. But because mm-hmm. of, like, black guys from previous seasons, yeah. they're projecting it onto me. Yeah. I like black women. Yeah. So, you know, like, for real, like, but it's like, I feel like, for coming from now, I feel like you shouldn't kind of have that same, yeah. like... Mm. I think it's going to take a while, though, for that damage to be undone, unfortunately. Yeah. And I think you yeah. were, like, the, the first to kind yeah. of get it. Mm. Do you know what I mean? You were the first to kind of go in there and be completely different. Mm. But unfortunately, like you said, people were projecting a lot of their insecurities and a lot mm. of their um, trauma onto yeah. you, unfortunately. Mm. Mm. But let's talk about that then. So so, so, so when you went in as a... Because I think India is, is coming from a different... Exp- slightly different perspective mm. but as a black man that likes black women were you feeling the whole pressure of the whole black love thing and all of that like i like 
black women, but I like yeah. all women as well. Yeah. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> but I like black women. Like, I do like black women yeah. a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Just saying. No, but I do. But I'm very open-minded. I'm not, like, a person yeah. just, like, always puts myself in a box because the pressures of, like, coming onto the show, like, there's this whole black love narrative. But for me, that didn't matter because if there was a black girl in there that I, I like, that was it for me. The story is done. Black love is, yeah. the book is about black love mm. and it's closed. Yeah. That's literally it. Yeah. So I feel like when she was in there, like, I didn't, there was no pressure for me because I actually generally saw a black girl that I actually really, like, yeah. like liked, mm. so... So when did you realize that it was India? I was gonna ask that. Actually. Man, what, I really, I really, like, you, like, you, you know, Amber? you know what we did, Amber. Nah, what? No, what? So why are you with Amber? Did you have eyes for India? India the when? thing is, the I thing think is, he did. Yeah. The thing is, like, when I came, when I first came into the into the thing, man, like, you're nervous and everything, but you look at all the girls, and I'm not even lying, but I just saw India, and I was like, okay, oh. this this is who they were talking about. This has to be the person mm. they were saying. Oh yeah, there's someone in there for you. Yeah. But then it's like you're not trying to budge or give it away who you're looking at. Yeah. But then <laughs> when they said, oh, the public they changed it up and they're like oh the public has decided for you i knew i was i knew i was not going to india yeah, like i yeah. gen i knew they were going to put me with someone else that wasn't yeah. india just to like mm -hmm. but i didn't care because i was going i was getting going back to india somehow but yeah. but but out of respect like when they put me with amber it's like because like i'm open-minded it's like i have to give the situation and actually give it time because when you come on the show you should be open-minded yeah. like i shouldn't just mm -hmm. close it off because even though i might have eyes off for india just out of attraction maybe it won't work because I don't actually know her. Mm -hmm. It's like, okay, let me give it, give a shot with Amber. But I feel like as time went on with Amber and there was certain like stuff that we kind of like probably peeped about each other but, and I peeped about it, I just, I just, just didn't gel with me. Mm -hmm. And then I have conversations with India and we'd be talking. I'm just like, these conversations are so easy. Like mm -hmm. this is the kind of conversations I should be able to have with the person I'm in a couple with, mm -hmm. but I can't. And whereas she was obviously complaining about probably the same stuff with Kenna mm -hmm. and it was just like, yeah, I was, saying, I was saying jokes and I was dropping hints. I was like, we it was couple really up. weird. Like, it was like, bro, like, and uh, the thing is, you can't even pounce on each other or anything yeah. like that because we're all <laughs> being respectful. Like, <laughs> like, I'll be chilling beside her and I'm like, wow, <laughs> this is a great conversation. <laughs> you know, <laughs> maybe you should, no, no I just think, think in my head. on the day bed, like, literally talking for ages yeah. and everyone would be like okay we need to like stop talking because we actually have yeah yeah that's that's the thing yeah. that's the thing. we need yeah. to leave each other alone that's the thing because we would be talking for ages and then the people you're in couple with they'd notice your because there was yeah. even a time amber would be like amber would make slide jokes like oh do you want us to leave you guys alone all these little all these little slide jokes and we'd be like okay yeah maybe we should just like <laughs> yeah let's wrap it up go so, yeah go somewhere else we come back maybe another time another day <laughs> but yeah no, have you seen have you seen amber since you've been out? Um, not one on one, but like I've seen her like at events and stuff. Okay. But everyone's been so bloody busy. It's yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. But um, yeah, no bad vibes with me and Amber though. Like we yeah. get along, she's a calm girl. I actually texted Amber just yeah, to calm. check up on her mental health and stuff. Yeah. Mm. She didn't reply to me though. <laughs> no, I actually no, I actually just genuine I actually genuine I actually genuinely did it, not like in any any way, but just actually text. Because I know when you come out the villa, it's like it's life is lot. life is different and like yeah. you might have got scrutinized over certain things. Yeah. It's like just checking up on people that you were close to in there. Because yeah. we all went through the same situation. I feel like you can't just leave people yeah. alone. Cause like she could be like I don't know what she's going through, but it's like I just wanted to G check. I actually like, oh, think okay? that's really, really yeah. that nice. Nice. Because considering yeah. she wasn't exactly very complimentary, complimentary when she came out, when when she she came came out, out. of the house, she yeah. was you know, she did a lot of press and it you know, for me, I felt some of it was a little bit in poor taste. So I think for you mm. to even reach out to her, I, I think that's commendable. No, but I have a big yeah. heart though. I have a love for people that have love for me. So yeah. Yeah. It's, not, yeah. it's not a big thing. Like, you can't. Yeah. Oh, okay. So how did you, how did you cope with, because we have heard and we've seen a couple of people's interviews. How did you cope with like the fact that you're in the villa, but you're, you've got all these cameras around you and all these producers constantly around? Like was mm. was that something that you were conscious of a lot of the time? Like, I feel like everyone's like, oh, like, you, you forget that the cameras are there. Like, yeah, you forget, but like, you just get on with it. Like, it just mm. becomes a part of daily life. And it's like, I can't spend my whole time in here just thinking, oh my God, there's a camera on me. Like, mm. it's here now, just get over it. Mm. I think the only times that I did switch on was when it came to intimacy. I thought, oh, cameras are here. <laughs> I can't do this. <laughs> but other than that, like, you just, you just kind of forget about it and just move on with it. Did you notice some of your other um, colleagues? I don't know what you call them. Islanders. Colleagues. 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 <laughs> <laughs> some of your other colleagues. islanders. Did you notice them changing? Like when they went with, with cameras and so? Did you notice people's behaviour? We like, did. Because as viewers, we could kind of see <laughs> when people are putting it on a bit. Yeah. yeah. I, I'll be real. I feel like a lot of people played up to the cameras. Some people actually played up to the cameras a little bit because you could you can tell in different situations where it's like. Why is you, it really that why are you, deep? Like, why why are you, you doing, doing this? Why are you speaking like this? Why are you mm -hmm. saying these things mm. in this moment? 
But yeah. obviously... I mean, I it's a television show. Yeah. It's really. a, it is a television but show. I feel like, obviously, it's a television show. But when you're living there 24-7, it's like... Just leave me alone. I don't have time to be playing up and doing games. Like, mm. j- just piss off. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm. I'll tell you but. when it was obvious to us, um, this was with Ekin too, <laughs> when she had that conversation with George. <laughs> was it George? George? Oh. George in, was in, this Casa George in Casa Amor. Oh, so she, obviously her and George had a little bit of fumble in the dark and whatever. And she didn't, obviously she didn't want anyone to know. So she took him up to the, uh, a terrace, I think, yeah. in, in um, Casa Amor. And as they were going up, it's like she was narrating. Like she was... Playing back. She was... She was saying, so I know that we, like, I don't know, it was almost it like Nollywood. Me. It was a bit Nollywoody, innit? Yeah. Like, not in Nollywood <laughs> where something's happening. I don't know how much Nollywood you've watched, but the movie track will be singing what's happening. Mm. So she <laughs> picked <laughs> up a glass of water. <laughs> <laughs> that's not, that's what she, was, literally what she was doing. Like, she literally was narrating to George, so I know that we went into the room and then after we went into, she was looking at the camera and after we went into the room, we were, and we were like, what is going on? <laughs> and then she basically said, but nothing happened, right? And he was like, it did. <laughs> and she was like, no, but I just don't want you to tell anybody. And like, but it's the way oh. she was saying it. It was like, this is for the cameras. Mm. And that was when I kind of thought, okay, these people are fully aware like, of what's yeah. happening here. So I think yeah. to touch on the point that you just made, um, I think Luca did an interview yeah. recently. Okay. And he said that sometimes the producers kind of give you guys pointers mm-hmm. on, on like what's happening with the public and all of that. So I was going to ask, so obviously... We go, we've been championing you from the beginning, right? Mm-hmm. Your, your couple from the beginning. And Casa Amor, we were saying from the beginning that you guys had a conversation before Casa Amor. You mm-hmm. discussed what you were going to do. And, you know, you went in there and you guys both did what you did and you came back to the house. So is that how it happened? Did you guys have a conversation before Casa Amor? How, how did it happen? You want to take it? You can take it. <laughs> I was just thinking about this one thing. Yeah, I don't know. Do you want to? Do you want to yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, we actually did have a conversation before Casa Amor. Yeah. So it was a thing where, yeah, we were both single. Mm. Stop. <laughs> I'm, I'm not even saying anything. I'm not saying Okay, God the thing is, yeah, hey. we're both single, right? Yeah. And I won't lie. If you actually go back to our VTs, like... Religion no, no, but thing. you're the same thing. Yeah. So honestly, in my head, like, obviously, as much as, like, whatever Lucas said... You know what Lucas said about yeah. you know getting nudged and stuff. As much as that happened, I do have a mind of my own, whatever, mm-hmm. cool. But it's like you do. There comes a point where you, you might not want to do something, but then they convince you to, as to why. Okay, maybe you should do it, mm-hmm. and then you don't know what your other partner is doing. Oh, and then when you remember yeah. like what your partner and you you guys have talked about, and you remember how they are, it's like you have this whole like narrative in your head of like what they're probably doing because obviously her VT is li- almost similar to mine. Obviously, you didn't match your VT when you went to Casa more. <laughs> I kept Shut up to my own VT, I'm oh. just saying. <laughs> so it was just like, it was a bit I like, have. yeah, you, you could have tried. I, no, I, I, I was prepared. I was prepared. Everything I did, what you moment, did I was wanted to do then. India, yeah. what you did was perfect. Yeah, it was perfect. Trust yeah. Honestly, trust me. you. It was, it was In, perfect. India, did you, did you um, fancy um, Deji? He was a cute, mm. good looking guy. No, no, but I'm asking you. Like, That's if, actually if a you, serious if question. You, <laughs> if you fancy Deji the way you fancy I wasn't as much. Would you? Yes, I'm asking you. If somebody as hot as Dami was in there, would you move differently? Yeah. You would have moved differently. If there was like, if I fancied him as much as I fancied Dami, I probably would have kissed him oh, and wow. like, we would have shock. gone calm. I'm shocked. I'm so shocked. What? I'm glad you it shocked? was just dead. Are you shocked? Are you shocked? <laughs> shocked? Oh. Are you shocked? Okay. It's not like he's okay. So I think that's whatever. important. I think that's important to note, guys, because I think that, you know, obviously the connection was there, but it wasn't as strong as yeah. we had in mm. Yeah, like the nothing could actually yeah. like match it. Like we had good conversation. I feel like, okay, I was flirting and whatever. So I understand like where he felt. I'm sorry. Mm. But it's like, yeah, we're having a good conversation and whatever, but... Like when we were talking, I was thinking, oh, I'm trying to get home. I'll be yeah. here everywhere. Else. But tell go yeah. back to where? Shut up. Back to me. Yeah. Oh, Shut up. <laughs> so that's so, not what I said. So I think I think one of the key parts of the whole thing was the whole recoupling after Casa Amor. Mm. That was epic. That was epic. That I was feel like epic. that's gonna go down in TV history. <laughs> oh, Chef's oh, kid. No, I feel like it will do. Yeah. That's the, that was the tagline. It's one of the mm. best. So so did they edit a lot of that out or was there a lot of back and forth? No, I think everything they put yeah, in was Yeah, exactly it was pretty much, yeah, like literally. What we gave them was what they needed. Like, <laughs> wow. They did not yeah. put anything out. Wow. It was so awkward though. I feel like, I didn't feel awkward. I didn't yeah. feel but awkward. But for everyone else, because even Laura's like, wow, this is awkward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel, I feel, like, Laura, was like, I feel like Laura felt awkward. Laura felt awkward. Because awkward. she was like, wow, this is the cool. And like, she can't like talk to us. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. as in, obviously she's reading off a script, but like normal people like have a conversation like, okay, Inja, like, be real, like, what's going on? Like, talk mm. to me. She can't do that. Yeah. So, like, we were going back and forth and she was just there, like, oh, shit. 
She was just there with her notes, like. <laughs> yeah. Everyone was like, going. But she's, she's supposed to queue on the next people. Yeah. Before even going ahead of time. And she's waiting for her to finish. She's like, you lot. <laughs> okay. You lot, wow. <laughs> Oh, God. No, no, I loved it. I mean, for me, I think that that for me gave me a bit of hope because mm. I was like, okay, there's still something there. There's yeah. still something there's a spark. Yeah, there's yeah, still a spark. Like if you didn't do something. anything, I feel like, yeah, then we wouldn't really care about each other. But you know what it was, yeah? I wanted to do more, but yeah. you know, because Deji was next to me, you know? yeah. Oh, yeah. I had to be oh. respectful in a way because I didn't want him to feel like I just brought him back for vibes. Yeah. yeah. It's like, I'm looking at him, yeah. <laughs> even when I came back, yeah, even on my breath, I was like, you bastard. Yeah. And Deji was, was like, oh. It was the more. Cause me, I had if I was by myself, like I literally would have just been cussing. Like, yeah. you yeah. see my Jamaican side, like I would. No, but there's one thing. I got she, nothing to lose. There's, that one thing she, there's one thing she said here. Yeah, she was like, "Oh, I see, it's true colors now." Yeah. And in my head, all I said is, "Are you fucking colorblind? <laughs> <laughs> Are you crazy?" <laughs> Well, I didn't say it out loud because yeah, I was like, oh, because I'm trying to get, like, in my head, I'm like, I might be trying to go back to this because, you know, the situation yeah, was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, let yeah. me just, you know. <laughs> if I said that, we might have not gotten the heartbreaker line. I feel like things, I would have no, thought things, something. Things no, but things would have been off track. I didn't even mean track. to say that. Yeah, yeah, but you only said it because I said we both oh, have heartbreakers. Oh, he lives off of this. No! Yeah, I, I keyed you off. Oh, but then I don't no, say no, it. No, but then I don't say it. I still said it, though. She came, tr she came true. I said it. If I didn't say that, there wouldn't have been any line. Oh. I cued her up. You, okay, yeah, but okay, this is okay, the thing. Okay, if he said something different, I would have thought of something else to say. Do you not know how we... I would have thought of something else to say. Yeah, but you wouldn't have thought of something like that. Oh, it would have been better. That can't go on. That can't go on. No, but the thing is, both of you were very, very... Give me my respect. Like, both of you yeah. were very slick, but one thing I will commend you on though is I feel like you both said just enough. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, knew, I, knew, I, knew, I knew when she said that no it was fine. It, was, it wasn't a dig for me. It was like mm. it was it's nice. Like, it was a nice threw the ball and then yeah, exactly. Like, so India, he's yeah. like, yeah. you know, when you lay up someone for basketball and then yeah. just, yeah. they just <laughs> you know, it's true. Like, I, that's literally it, man. No, that but that's true. teamwork, that's that is, and, and that shows All that about that shows that even when you guys are beefing, you're still in synergy. Yeah, you're still in sync. You know, you're still in sync even when you're beefing. Because I feel like we'll do that. Like we'll like now, like. We'll even beef, but after yeah, beef, we'll be like, yeah. Oh, dude, I'm oh, so God. annoying. <laughs> So you guys, okay, so you guys come back into the villa after it and obviously you, you work through the whole, you know, you both dump your respective Casa Amor people and then you get back together. Mm -hmm. So, 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 so do, do, do you islanders talk about or oh, where they think they're going to, how they're going to think they're publicly voting for them, you know, um. Okay, so I think after that, Dami, you ended up in the bottom, right? Uh, in the, did, follow, in the next up, vote. Yeah, when, like, it was the one with like free, least favorite couple. Yeah. Where they, had, where they made me say India and Dead used to sit down. I was like, you bastard. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Honest to God, like, I'm giving you guys a good TV show. This is what you're doing. <laughs> <TV. laughs> so, how, um, did, how did you feel about being in the bottom then at that point? I didn't feel bad. It's like I kind of expected it in a sense because when she told me she didn't do anything, mm. I was like, damn, no. it's going to mm. look bad. And you know, Black Love, Twitter, and everybody mm. else is going to be coming from my neck. So like I said it, so even when we were up there with Jay and uh, China, I, I was just like saying, I understand the situation. Yeah. I was even mm. looking at someone, this is your fault. You shouldn't have come inside. Like, because <laughs> yeah. like, I knew the situation, but I feel like after that, it was just kind of like, there's nothing mm. I could do except be myself and just kind of work through, through it and just get the girl I want because that's literally all that mattered. Mm. All roads lead to India. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, when he was standing up there, I was thinking, shit, what I if know. he goes home? But apartments began, this is what you fucking get. Yeah, right? no, I hear that. I hear that. I hear that. Damn I hear that. Right. Literally, when, when he was like, oh yeah, like, oh, India and Daddy sit down, I thought, yeah. Yeah, yeah of I course. That, I that, I because what else? I hear that, I hear that. It was sad though, I'm not gonna lie, because it was just shoot. I mean, your actual show when I managed to stay. What? He jumped on me, remember? Shut up, man. <laughs> <laughs> You know the scene, so I just remember the scene when um, I think Andrew and Dami, you guys were on David. the day bed. Mm. And then Aww. when India, you snuck out yeah. of the, the bedroom and then you guys, I thought you cute. guys ran to each other. Mm. It was so you know cute. You guys gave us you know a lot of mad. Hollywood moments. You, yeah, you, know you know what's mad? Watching all those moments over again or even like the edits people make, it's like we're watching it. But then it's like you're falling in love with each other again. Yeah, because like, I was like sending him some yesterday, like these little like cute little couple videos. I was like, now I get why everyone is like, you guys are cute because this is cute. Yeah, and it's like, you yeah. don't, because you're just living it and you're just like enjoying it. I'm like, yeah. full I don't know. Usually she wouldn't have said. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> both of you though, innit? Both, both yeah. of you. I've always been a simp. I'm not afraid to be a simp like school. Yeah. I am. I'm afraid. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm afraid now, to though. be a simp. Oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> that is so annoying. The thing is, when we we've been championing both of you from the beginning, so even when you weren't together, 
mm. we were trying because for us we just want everyone black to win so <laughs> it was kind of like when you when you were with Ikenna we were championing you guys when mm. you were you know what, and mm. then obviously when you got together it was perfect mm. so you know for us that representation is really important yeah. for us like I know what everyone says oh this, that's not all about colour it is <laughs> <laughs> it is it actually is man you it need is. representation yeah, like yeah. honest to god you do because as much as like okay I've been on there with no expectations I didn't realise like even coming out this whole like, okay, like role model thing. I never wanted to be anybody's role model, do you know what I mean? Like I'm not even trying to put that pressure on myself, but like, it's nice to see that like other black girls will feel like, oh, do you know what? I can go and do this, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because that's why I did it. Cause I didn't mm -hmm. want to feel like I couldn't do something because I'm black. Mm -hmm. And now to see other black girls feeling comfortable in their skin, mm -hmm. sticking up their hair and just being themselves. Like it's nice to see, do you know what I mean? So it is sometimes about color because we don't get mm -hmm. that representation, exactly. do you know what I mean? Like, white girls can get away with just doing anything, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I got even, to stick my edges. Even like, like, the, like black, the black guys from even the, like the man them, mm -hmm. like the proper road man, mm -hmm. they actually come to me like, damn you man, you held it down. Yeah. Like, I don't even watch Love Island and that, but oh. you're, you're part of the man them. No, you're like, trying to like, do and, that and you, feel, and you feel it like, I'm like, oh shit, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, for even for them, like, they don't look like people that watch Love Island, mm -hmm. but for yeah. them seeing me on it and they're telling me like, man, you actually, you actually held it down for mm. like it feels good like because like you actually did something Definitely. something important something good so definitely yeah um well i was gonna ask you actually when you when you mentioned about the way you, you would look you look and stuff mm. so in the house obviously sometimes you would wear wigs sometimes you would wear your own hair mm -hmm. how did they have hairdressers come in for you yeah so i got i had tapes in when i first went in mm. and then i had um a hairdresser come in she came in like twice, Camilla. She came yeah, in like Camilla, twice. Black as well, so. And she was oh, black. Yeah. And like, there was other hairdressers that did like Tasha's hair and like Denise's hair. And it was like a white lady. But I think they really did try their yeah. best to accommodate for me. Mm -hmm. Like as in a black lady came to my tapes. Anytime I ran out of edge control, I'd go into the beach. I'd be like, look, you need, you need to get me that coming back <laughs> now. I need it. And they really tried. Mm -hmm. Like they had the whole villa kitted out with like edges, brushes, mm -hmm. like everything that I needed. So I felt very like, like at home and I was mm -hmm. quite taken aback and surprised mm, that like that you know brilliant. even foundation was all there so i think they really did i don't know about they did their research I feel like this, year, ITV this year they actually did they properly, really like, did they yeah. actually looked after us really we've been dragging did. them yeah. Yeah. to be yeah. fair apart from the camera lighting yeah, when, when it comes when to I looked people, awful yeah sorry Dami. but apart from that they represented. Mm. They, I yeah, think no, they, they really, did. I think sometimes, you just, sometimes you just have to bully remember, people into doing things. Yeah. <laughs> like remember, you really do. Remember when we were in, there was a time when we were on the day bed and I think it was us, Summer, Deji, like the whole black community. And, oh. and then we all chat, we were like, man, there's we're so like, many shit. black people. We were like, shit. We were, like, we were, like, we were literally so on the day bed. Right and now. it's like, it we were all chatting and we were all vibing. I'm like, I feel like this is like a cute little youth club. Yeah. Like, I feel like I'm back at home. Yeah, like, yeah. and it was so mad. I thought, I remember one time I was saying to Deji as well, like, who would have thought, like, the way me and you are vibing, it's like, I could have met you out, like, in Clapham, like, on the street. Yeah. And it's like, mm. here we are out in Mallorca. Yeah. And it's like, you don't get people, like, quote unquote, like, normal, mm. yeah. like, us just here. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah, and like, when nice. we're all on the day bed and we all have mad shit in common mm. and we're just, like, vibing and talking, I'm like, this is nice. So this is what it feels like. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah, so nice. it, was, it was really nice yeah. to see. It was really nice to see. And I think that, like you said, for people that go in maybe next year or whatever, mm -hmm. it's giving people a little bit more confidence. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe to apply for it because they're like, well, yeah. you know, India could do it. Mm -hmm. You know, Dami can do it. Deji can do it or whoever can do it. So mm -hmm. I'm going to do it as well. And they were treated fairly. Yeah. yeah. Well, fairly. And there's and a lot um, of like different cultured, like black folks, like yeah. what, from different areas. Backgrounds. Yeah. yeah. Backgrounds. Backgrounds. So what's that like then? So obviously you're, you're Jamaican heritage, you're Nigerian, Nigerian heritage. Yeah. What is that like? Have your families met each other? Have you? Okay. So you met Dami's mum, right? I met Dami's mum okay. and dad. And and sisters and, and brothers yeah. and grandma. God, I've met and the dogs. Mm. I've met dogs, everybody. Yeah. Oh, you've got dogs? Yeah, yeah he's Venus got dogs at home. Oh, yeah. wow. They're very friendly. They're very friendly. Wow. I'm Everyone was dogs. surprised by that, though. Really? Like, even Shaq was like, How come you have dogs? Like, I'm in like, you know, I'm in like some like, I wonder black thought culture, you would have like, dogs. Yeah. That's yeah. actually quite surprising. Your mom, is it your mommy's dogs? No, what? Is it your mummy's dog? No, it's my dog. It's my oh, dog. okay, okay, yeah. So, you. I, 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 I integrated the dogs into my house. Into so like, I'm the one that yeah. does all that, and then now they love them. Like oh. some of the dogs are in the family pictures. Where before? Where? Show me. You guys don't like dogs. I don't wear a show. I don't. I, like dogs. I, I, I've, I've been I don't mind. Before. It depends I've on the breed. But they're very cute dogs. Like they're very like. Yeah, they're very warm and welcoming. They're They're basically Nigerian as well now. 
the life no, he, was gi- he was yeah. giving them fried yam and fish. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, if they're in Nigeria, that's what they'll be giving them. Yeah. 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 They don't go and buy dog food. Yeah. 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 So, so what was it like when you met um, Dami's family? It was lovely. Yeah. Like, obviously, I kind of, like, spoke to them a bit before on, like, FaceTime and everything. But, like, seeing them in the flesh, like, everyone's just so welcoming. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I already felt a part of the family. Like, mm-hmm. it was great. Do you know what I mean? Mm. I was shitting it. Mm. I was so nervous because obviously our cultures are different. Yeah. And like, I know like Dami was telling she me like I had to Dubai, like bar. Oh, sorry, I, yeah. I was like, you know, for me, I'm not going to lie. I was like, I felt so awkward because I'm not used to it. So you've yeah. never mm. dated a Nigerian guy before? I've dated a Nigerian guy, but I've never had to do that before. Oh, okay. And I, this is like, I guess my first time meeting like a Nigerian man's mum. Mm. Oh, do you know what I mean? Right, so the okay. culture is different, but I know obviously it's his culture. I have to respect it. I have to do yeah. it. So I was thinking, shit, like, um, which way? Like, yeah. Am I doing this right? <laughs> like, every time I was like, babe, is it this way? Is it this way? <laughs> like I just wanted to get it right but yeah. like I did it and it was fine and like they were just so lovely do you know what I mean so lovely how did you feel about the um, backlash about them about them um, people on social media saying that what you was wearing was oh my titties hot yeah well which stuff was this from my grandma I think the grandma was the main one yeah I mean I don't know I didn't really care because mm. at the end of the day like I mean my grandma didn't even notice the top I didn't even notice it either she didn't, she didn't even notice like, and like, even so I feel like even though like <coughs> Dami's family, they are Nigerian, they're very like accepting mm. yeah. and they're very sort of like accept you for who you are. If you want to dress this way, dress this way, just mm. be yourself. Do you know what I mean, mm. as long as you're respectful, mm. it's fine. So I didn't I mean, really they care. They have me as their son. As it, as it. <laughs> I think they're fine. <laughs> this guy's in the family, He's so I'm sure I'll be okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But um, yeah. yeah, and it's like opinions from people that don't even know his family, or my exactly. family or what we have going on. So it's like, mm. whatever. Mm. So and what was it like changing. for Dami meeting your mom? It was calm. I feel yeah, it's calm. But even though, because I have the Nigerian culture in me, mm. so even though they're not they're not part of that culture, I still develop and I still yeah. kind of agree. I even call mm. her Auntie D. I don't, yeah. I can't say yeah. D. Just no. like yeah. My mom likes when you call her Auntie yeah, D, even though she's Jamaican. Like it's she better. likes it because I have like my best friends like gone in and she mm. calls her like Auntie D as well. Mm. But like <laughs> it's funny, like even when he's like bound up, mom's not even noticing. Mm. She's just like, oh hey, yeah. 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 I mean? I do it, it's just but it's weird. just respect. You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, no, it's nice and like. It's just nice, obviously, being like integrated into the culture and like yeah. seeing different things because mm-hmm. it's nice. You know, I eat a lot of Jamaican food now. Yeah, he's here. always eating Jamaican food. We eat Caribbean food. Yeah. yeah, a lot. It's not even our own Caribbean. It's just from the shop there. <laughs> 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 yeah, don't lie. Don't lie. No, 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 no. She actually, actually has been cooking. So. I've cooked really? him a few Jamaican dishes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I even made like him. Three or four. I made him <laughs> salmon rice yesterday. Yeah, salmon rice. That's because that's because I put on the salmon rice. Salmon rice. What's salmon rice? What's that? It's just like length. If you go to Brixton, you go to New Thing. Shout out, new thing. Shout out, new thing. <laughs> we love you. No, but their salmon rice and stuff Slim. is banging. But we have That's this thing in the Caribbean called like seasoned rice, mm. and it's like just Jamaican, basically Jamaican special mm. fried rice. It's just got like loads of stuff in it. Okay. But salmon rice, just like basmati rice with like salmon. And yeah, but it has like it's like it's almost like fried rice, but with yeah. salmon in it yeah. as well. But it's like, like it tastes better than fried rice. I'll be real about really? that. Really? Yeah. Ah, oh, we have to try you know, it. Rice and peas is a bit boring. Like mm. no offense, to it is a bit boring. You can't just eat it on its own. Yeah, you do. I will be real. Can eat on its own, and then you even get this salmon thing that salmon is even seasoned and has like some sort of like sauce on it. So you crunch up the salmon. It's coming man. So good. Salmon rice. Salmon rice. Yeah. Newting. Newting. Shout out Newting to Brixton. You know, if you want to like, Newting, you need to give them them up with some free food and hook us up as well. (laughs) Newting. Honest to God. No, for real. But yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. so you guys are you, you guys are gonna move in together? Or yes. Something? Yeah. We've literally been looking at apartments literally yesterday, and we're <laughs> ready to go. What are you laughing at? Because <laughs> my girlfriend's so indecisive. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I think we've I think we found a place though. Yeah, we're gonna we go are, to yeah. viewings next week. We've got like our top three, mm-hmm. but I think we've defo like found where we want to stay because mm-hmm. it's like it's just too much. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like obviously, I live in Brixton, and so does. Dami's nan. Like, she lives, mm. like, 10 minutes from me, which is the oh, weirdest coincidence. Wow. Literally. So, like, we've been, like, staying at mine and then, like, staying at his nan's and then, like, mm. back and forth. But it's, like, you know when you go out and you just want to come home together? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's, like, we have so much going on and it's, like, we just, we need a place, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? So, yeah, just working on that, really. That's nice. And your families are supporting everything you guys Yo, do? Oh, yeah, absolutely. My sister doesn't want me to leave. She's like, so you're moving out? <laughs> I was like, babe, you have a whole family of your own. What do you mean, <laughs> so I'm moving out? Of course I am. But she's come to visit as well. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Ace absolutely. in Asia. 
Ace yeah. and Asia love me. Yeah, they love Dami. My niece and nephew. Oh, yeah. I swear, I think kids just love me. <laughs> yeah, Dami does. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. Look at the kids, kids that were following you around. Oh, oh yeah. Shout, shout, shout out to them. You guys are my best security ever. Yeah. Yeah. I actually yeah. love the. Those guys get sturdy. They as get. Well. I was just about to say they get sturdy. sturdy. Oh, they so were hard. good. They were oh. good. That is so cool. I loved your oh. outfit as well. What was your outfit from? Yeah, it was um, uh, what's his name? Edward Crutchley. That was really yeah. nice. I must mm-hmm. say that you guys have been serving looks mm-hmm. since you've been out of the villa. Even in the villa. Even in the villa, you were serving looks. You but outside, you guys I was have stressing really in the villa, you know. Why? Like, after, like, week four, I ran out of clothes because mm. I wasn't even... I was like, yeah, I'm not even going on a show. Like, it's probably not going to happen. Oh. And they mm. called me. I'm like, shit. Mm. Like, I need to I need to my fucking AliExpress shop. Yeah. Like, what's going on? So I didn't have time to, like, put all my fits in. So by, like, week four, there was even a time I wore one of Dami's T-shirts with some shorts and tried to I make liked a look that, out though, of it. With the, with the, high yeah, with the thigh high boots. That was Dami's T-shirt. Yeah. And I was like, I got to a point where I was just like, obviously I had an eBay wardrobe, but I was really just like, it was all mm-hmm. eBay and I was just really trying to piece it together. Like every night I was having a meltdown, but yeah. I, I, was I think know. when it comes to looks, it was you and Tasha. Yeah, oh, Tasha can Tasha dress was yeah. just serving. Tasha can serve. Mm, yeah. Have you seen everybody, all of the other Islanders recently? Or? Not recently. I literally text Tasha all the time. I literally mm. speaking to her earlier today. But um, oh. we've just all got so much going on. Yeah, so I love that. On, I love that, that you guys. Yeah, but we keep in touch. Like, yeah, I mean, if it's not, a, if touch. it's not like a physical thing, the text is there and the mm-hmm. FaceTime, yeah. and you know I'm here. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. So let's talk about the final then. What 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 was that like preparing for the final? Did you have any expectations? What, like what did you think? Because obviously, um, I think before you guys, the highest a black couple would come was fourth, right? Mm. Yeah. Mm. So so what was your expectations going into the final? I don't know, like, I had no expectations. I feel like it, it was better than what we actually expected. Because I thought yeah. it was going to be a very stressful, long day, but mm. we went out, we got into the holding period, period uh, villa. Yeah, and they so we were getting ready. We meals. didn't get ready in the main villa. They sent us to, like, was it, like, the Marriott complex? It was Mario or something. It was like a no- whole other like villa yeah. complex, and it was really nice, like these nice, like mm. luxurious, like villas. Mm. And we're just in there getting like they hair get and makeup done, well. like everything. Um, yeah, so guys we're just doing here. Getting your like pressure. everyone, it was like it was like for that moment, it was like you were actually free. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you didn't have we got or anything, we, yeah. but you were just free. Everyone was doing something. No but you're cameras. Out, you're outside of like no cameras, yeah. no mics. You were just literally all just, just bouncing around, nice, moving nice around. Yeah. Everyone's getting done up. And then suddenly, okay, you get driven back to the villa, and then it's like they give the my us boys. It wasn't David. Yeah, me and David. We just we didn't care. We broke the rules. Oh, with the champagne. Yeah, with the champagne. <laughs> we just drank like there was like I think five bottles. They came back to the main villa and they had like snacks. Like, Let's and, like, loosen up for this final, this yeah. finale, because yeah. we, we don't know what's going to be like. And then um, yeah, everyone's just drinking. Everyone's just some good vibes. We took pictures, and then after it was like you just get ushered to like stand where you're standing. Yeah, and, and it's it, very like. It's talk very, when you talk because yeah. it was live it was live so you yeah. couldn't be chatting because it's live yeah, yeah. and i feel like because it was live it was quicker than what you yeah. guys would because man what you guys used to see on the tv for us you guys see like 45 okay 45 minutes or in those four or five minutes for us it's like two hours mm. like recoupling took about three hours like it was yeah. it's yeah. long like it took about it's draining sometimes like like even when oh, let me like this. Come what, what it? no but even like even like <laughs> in situations where like i'm standing up and i know i'm not going home i'm like come on like <laughs> let's, 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 let's just come on like, yeah. i'm tired man yeah. Yeah. yeah recouplings were hard but i think as weeks went on we got the hang of it mm. and it's like let's get this over and done with yeah because yeah. on the first in the first, the first week, day, we yeah, were all laughing we're like what the fuck is this like there's times when we get the giggles and we're laughing yeah. and it's like, like some so some because the thing is like everyone face forward look at the fire pit yeah look at no the fire smile, pit no, no, smile, no smiling laughing. and everybody and someone just go and then, and then, and then everybody laughing. just scatters and then it's like you have to redo it again you have yeah. to redo it again but then eventually because you want to get through it you just everybody everyone's just, like straight face no laughing it. pick your girl and but get the yeah. thing, thing is when there's new people that come in and they're not aware of how it is yeah. and then they break out we're like can you take this seriously yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 literally you, like we've been doing this now this like, like get on, with man. it <laughs> yeah for real can ah, you oh, come. I was going to ask, are there any couples, you don't have to mention names, but just a yes or no, <coughs> are there any couples that you <coughs> don't think they're going to make it like pass or pass maybe next week? No, nah, like, I feel you like you everyone, no, nah, I genuinely feel like everyone, anyone, any couple that wants to make it will make it. Like if you want to make it work, you'll make it work. No, that's like, not what I'm asking. I know what India doesn't doing, but... think so. Go on, India. <laughs> what I'm asking is, Speak up if you don't the think couples so. that are, that, that are now together, coupling, official. Yes. Yeah. Are there any couples that you think are literally just sticking together at the moment now for the deals? You know what? At the start, I'm going to at the start, I thought, yeah. Mm. But like now I'm seeing things like 
you know, get along mm, and I'm yeah. I'm seeing people's relationships and how people are going along. It's like, well, maybe you've grown to like yeah. each other. And everyone's different. Oh, okay. Maybe it's real. Okay, maybe. Let, me ask the question. let me ask a maybe. direct question then. So, so basically, we when we were watching, when we were watching the show, it literally looked like Davide. Oh, I wasn't going to question. I was just saying, I was saying, I was saying. Yeah, no, let me, let me, let me listen, listen, we have to. Listen, listen no. when we were watching the show, it literally looked like Davide switched his behavior in the last week, right? Right before the final, it literally looked, that's what they're editing. You, that's, what, that's, that's what they're editing looked like. I, I don't know, obviously uh, you guys were in the villa. I don't know what yeah. if, that, if that was just editing, but it literally looked like the show was edited to look like he was being mean throughout the whole season. And then literally a week before the final, all of a sudden, I love you and- Yeah, I but I won't like get David's whole meanness because of what Ekinsu did. As yeah. much as everyone was like, oh, you go Ekinsu. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a nice situation to be in. Like you're trying to trust someone and then they did that whole thing yeah. on the, the terrace or whatever. Mm. And I feel like for him, trust was a big thing. And it was like, because obviously, like, I feel like in the beginning, Ekisu wasn't like his initial top type or yeah. attraction, but he was actually trying to get to know. Because out of every other girl in there, they had such a vibe and connection and mm -hmm. he was actually trying to do that. But then she did that. And I feel like for him, he was trying to like, obviously, maybe there was pride, there was ego, and you're trying to battle like getting out of that like mindset like how can you trust this person when they yeah. did this to you because stuff like that leaves the stain because yeah. for me if, if that happened, there's no going back for me yeah but, like some people are actually like very like like they're Certain more um, tolerant than other people and i feel like he was actually trying to like get back into that so and i feel like a after a certain point as much as he was mean and, and everything it's like you get why he was mean but then at, so you yeah. don't have to be that mean yeah. but you get why for he was mean long. as well yeah. yeah for that long because there was a point where i was even saying to him like man honestly God, like <laughs> dude, uh, even me ekinsu generally to me she actually like at first i didn't believe her mm. but in after a while i was like nah ekinsu actually genuinely likes you like i'll be yeah. talking to him and i'll be saying nah she actually genuinely likes you so it's like you kind of have to let go of the past if you're mm. going to try and make this yeah. thing work and we have all these conversations and i feel like Cause when you see them hanging around each other and they have all these little banters, they and, were doing yeah. up like they literally used to run around the villa like having water fights. Yeah, and it's like they generally were just like two like big, the two big no, broken. They did, they did, they did, they did, they did show that. Yeah, and then me and her, me and her partook. I was like, and then he thought, like, sorry, I'm not the one. He's seeing Ekin and Davide chucking water. Do I chuck water at me? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, don't play with me. Who won the battle? Who won the battle? Exactly. <laughs> I do know the point is, I spilled the water, then I lifted her up to use her to wipe the water. <laughs> what? Yeah, so he's lucky he's, he's just strong. Like, like I, it, once he picked me up, I was like, I can't even do nothing now. Yeah. Because how am I supposed to get out of this? <laughs> but no, with like, yeah, with Davide and Ekin, I think it was the thing where it got to a point where he had to just, he just had to let go. Yeah. Cause literally when you're living in that villa and you, we see, we see the interaction, we see how they are. Mm -hmm. And I think it got to a point where he just had to go, shit, I just let go. Mm -hmm. Just get to know the girl and just, let go if it goes to shit it goes to shit because yeah. you can't like you can't say to someone oh like i forgive you for like your wrongs and then you keep bringing it up yeah and then you keep like battering them for it and be like oh yeah mm. well you did this mm. and it's like you're either going to forgive them and try to work on it and move on mm. or you're not mm. and i think that's where the switch up came because he realized that i can't keep like battering her mm. for what she's done in the past mm. so, yeah that's true okay yeah. all right I, I think that's fair enough then because yeah. because we I, well i can speak for myself I basically thought the whole thing was fake. Mm. Like, well, was I, fake. I did as well, to be fair. Yeah, well, I, I, well really? he switched. He switched. He I, could, because the way it was edited, it made it look like literally the final's coming up. Yeah. We I think he, def he definitely switched, but it wasn't that kind I of feel like I feel like, coming close, I feel like for. sometimes coming close to the finals, though, it's like, it's like you're at this point now, it's like you kind of let go of stuff because like, look, yeah. we've made it this far. There's mm. no point of us. Like if the, if the public are still backing you guys through mm. all your transgressions and all this stuff, mm. it's like, why keep holding on? Yeah. Do you mm. know what I mean? Because every time they were always saved, even when we voted them for like the, the least compatible, mm. they were still saved. So yeah. I feel like all these things kind of play into part. Like, okay, you know, maybe the, the public are backing you as well. Mm. They must obviously see mm -hmm. something that you guys have. So it's like, you just let go mm. of it. Like, yeah. Yeah. I think for us, it, 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 I think they're, they're it wasn't for us, it wasn't necessarily that we disliked Ekinsu and Davide. It was more about the fact that we felt that the things that they were doing weren't being judged the same way with you guys. Oh, mm. that's I'll, what was pissing I'll, I'll, us I'll, I'll be real, yeah. I'll be real about stuff. Like I've said, I've taught this as well. Like the stuff that Davide says got away with, mm. if I said it, I would never have got away with it. Wow. And the thing yeah. is, I've never like come on to the show. I've never defamed any girl. I've never said any bad thing. All, most I've said to girls, shut up. Mm. <laughs> that's all I literally exactly. said to girl. And that shut up. For me, I've gotten a lot of stuff and scrutinized over Trust that. Me, Whereas like if, 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 I went, if yeah. I went for, if I went for it, 
Oh, so you didn't even know? They're called well, women's aid. Women's aid. aid. No, they they started and writing. All, all I literally did is sh- say shop, up. And mm. it's like, oh, my my demeanor, do I say I don't mm. care about girls. But I've never scrutinized any of the girls. I've never went, I've ne- never said anything negative mm. about any of the girls. Because that's just not who I am anyway. Mm. But it's like, just because I told a girl to shut up, it's like, I've been scrutinized for that. Where I was like, no, no, with David, he said all these jokes, yeah. all this stuff. He, he said a lot. Yeah. Funny, but it's yeah. Funny. I won't lie. I've watched it back and it's funny. <laughs> no, it it's was funny. funny like, but, but it's I could never, I could, does, yeah, I could never problem. get away with stuff like that. Mm. I, to me, I don't think that's really I fair. I think it's like, also like, I don't know. So you want to say, mm. he's Italian. And I feel like if you were saying half things you were saying in a British accent, it wouldn't get the same reception. Mm. Or in an mm. American accent. Well, you say that. Or in Nigerian. Or in Nigerian. You say that, but Luca and um, yeah. what's the other one? Um, Jacquees. Jacquees. Luca and Jack. We call him Jacquees. Jack. No, Jack. 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 We call him Jacquees. He goes by Jack. Luca and Jacquees. The kind of things that they were getting away with. They're, like a, they're not Italian either. Yeah. So nah, let's just call it a spade a spade. No, when you're out. of a lighter hue, you can do what you want. That's yeah, I've come the thing. Out, I've, come out, I've come out to one. They actually didn't get away with a lot. Like they, they did get away with some stuff, but they've been scrutinized as well. Mm. Like if you really look, if you really look into, okay. they have sometimes. Yeah, you get away with it. It's, le- it's less like you know. Not in the same way. Dami, you and Luca were yeah. getting dragged for being bullies, right? Mm. When it came to the vote. Luca got saved. You were in the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, but I think he was in the bottom because pe- I don't know. But I thought he was in the bottom because people were still hanging on to Casa Amor. I, I thought that as well. That's I mean, what I, I thought. No. But obviously, you guys see a different they thing. Still, but I feel like I feel like it was an, adi- I feel like it was an addition to... of Casa Amor and the bullying. So they were still me. hanging on to Casa Amor, but with Luca, they were saying he's he was a bully. They said he's possessive. He's, they he's, called he's women's rights for Gemma, saying that uh, um, in it. Yeah. But then, if it's to do with Casa Amor, why wasn't they really at the bottom? No, but that, no, for Davide had defense because of what happened with Ekisu, and they literally just got back together like two, three days. It like, hasn't, hasn't like, been that From long. my Davide, perspective, you what can, I was No, for Davide, you, no, even me, I was in the villa, I was like, no one can chat shit about you on the outside. Because basically, sis, she didn't cheat on him, but basically, sis did something, lied about it. She's been with Jay for how long? You guys have just got back into a couple for two, three days. Casamora has happened. No one's going to be expecting Davide to yeah. be full. Because he wasn't even saying that he's fully open to Ekisu. He wasn't acting like, oh, like I love Yeah, not going to lie. When we left for Casamora more, like I wasn't even confident that Davide was going to come back to England. Man, no one Like all the girls. I feel like even like, Ekisu was. Like, Ekisu, babe, Ekisu, Ekisu wasn't even. Ekisu was like, mm-hmm. she, do you know what Ekisu's. A thing was she was like when I go to um, just to prove a point yeah. about how much she likes to herself. So how much she likes David even if he yeah. does anything yeah. she's gonna stay true to herself just to mm. prove that she likes him that yeah. much and that's fine because at the end of the day she did what she did so mm-hmm. it's like for David he's not thinking about that so when obviously she comes back and he sees because even in his head he was like he's always saying like actually to be honest he actually told Ekisu to come back like single as well I think you guys course he did single. yeah no he did he yeah, was he very actually, confident no he was actually confident because yeah. he felt like if she actually wants to make not make it up to him but if she wants to prove she wouldn't prove yeah. that, that she actually like she would because yeah. I got it as well like if you do and that's it that's yeah Ekin was, was never recoupling but um, Dami let's talk about Luca and Jacquees though because <laughs> you guys obviously were quite close yeah yeah and I think to Shay's point they were even though they did get a bit of stick for the whole bullying thing with Tasha and where, and, and also as well, the way Jacquees was perceived to be treating Paige, it looked like he was kind of being a bit disrespectful to her. Like when they would talk and whatever, yeah. sometimes the way no, he sometimes would speak, he was, Sometimes he yeah. was, and I would say to him as well, you shouldn't actually exactly. speak like that to her. But he, he came out of the house and I think when he came out, I think he had over a million followers yeah. or whatever. I think now he's got like two million. Like, has he got two million? He's no, got he's not yeah. two million. Uh, uh, what has he got? He's, he's over a million. He's still on like one tree, one tree, one How can he have two million? Two million one, for no, what? One, he's like one tree, he's one over a million. One tree, one okay, he's over a million. Yeah, one yeah. point three. So he's doing all, he's going around doing interviews. He's doing, the thing is, yeah, I think that they were scrutinized, but I think that they were they weren't scrutinized as harshly as you were. Yeah, I, I won't lie, I'll be real. I feel like sometimes mm-hmm. black people you can be used as a scapegoat. Mm-hmm. Like literally if you do something that someone else did, it's like your one is way worse mm-hmm. than what they've yeah. done. Yeah. And people keep are. digging into because man, to this day, to this day, it's like sometimes people come and they keep digging into me stuff, stuff that's literally is not that no, it's actually not that deep. Yeah. But I'll keep getting scrutinized, but it's like they don't want to overlook that fact. But if I was white, it might be different. Yeah. Because I'm black, it's like easy to like keep digging at me for that or maybe not follow me because oh da, 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 da. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But with the, like I'm not saying it because I didn't come on the show about for racism and all that yeah. stuff. Because I'm tired of that whole like I don't want to have that whole mindset when I'm coming mm. on the show. I don't want to talk about racism and all that stuff. I just want to enjoy my time yeah. here and yeah. then do what I need mm-hmm. to do. But it's you're not blind to you're not yeah. blind yeah. to it. You can yeah. see it, you acknowledge it. But I just try to move on from it and just do what I want to do with myself. Yeah. Yeah. But I do see it, I do hear it, but yeah. I just 
I think that's what I think that's what it is for us. I think you know, obviously, we there's a lot of banter and a lot of jokes with us, and we say a lot of things that are you know quite controversial. But that for us, it's important that people are conscious of their bias because I think that's the problem. I think a lot of people, especially British people, white people and black people, to be mm. fair, they don't know why they don't like somebody. They just know that they don't. Yeah. Mm. And, they, and they don't know why they gravitate towards somebody. Yeah. They, but and it's easier, it's easier to dislike one person, but yeah. like the other one. And, and they don't understand because it's, it's cause if we go back to the whole Luca thing, they don't understand why they felt it was okay for Toluca to do it, but not for you to do it mm. until they actually check their biases. And a lot of people would come in our comments and say, do you know what? I'm a white person and I never thought about it like that. I never actually thought about um you know I never thought that I have a hint of racism like I never mm. thought about it and it's like it's almost and we keep on telling a lot of the white people that come to our um our um channel that we know that not all white people are they're not going around with a Ku Klux Klan you know with a, <laughs> a, 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 you know that's not what that's because to us that's that's not even the racism that's dangerous it's mm. more the 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 biases that you don't recognize mm. I think if you recognize that you're biased then you can do something about it but if mm. you don't then that's where mm. the problem is. So we're happy that, you know, I know you guys didn't go on there to be freedom fighters, but you guys, I don't think you realize the impact mm. that you've made, mm. like for black girls, black boys, and, you know, watching the show. Like a lot of black people, you would watch them on TikTok and they'd be like, I don't even watch Love Island, you know, but boy, I'm going to watch it mm. now, mm -hmm. you know? So you guys really changed the narrative and, you know, kudos for that. Well, I won't lie, with some of that, some of what you're saying, Sometimes it's black people as well that's hitting on. Yeah. Listen, that, oh, listen don't, don't get us started. Them. Don't get us started. We called them TCA, yeah. Twitter Coon Association. Association. Yeah. There were too many Coon. People were coming for <laughs> too us. Too many. Like, people would people be saying, Ekansu is queen. We'd be like, you have um, um, <laughs> Damia there. Is Ekansu your following? Oh, we would drag them. <laughs> no, but it's, it's cool. I feel like in that sense, it's cool to have your like. No. Favorite. No, no, in that <laughs> sense, no, no, I'm not going to lie. Just because you're a Just different color. Just because you're black, don't yeah, it mean doesn't mean it's the like way you. they were doing it. Yeah. They were no, saying no, yeah. that India is a doormat. But they were clapping for Ekansu. But look what Davide was doing to stuff us. Stuff like stuff like that. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. They even called you baby mama. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They said you're baby mama. you baby mama. I'm getting the ten mil ring first. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> They said you're they giving what? baby mama. They were calling um, India baby mama. They said mama. she's behaving like a baby mama because of the way you're treating her. It's but they were like a baby mama. So baby we said, mama. oh, Ekansu is not a baby mama then. That's so actually not in my opinion. I didn't treat. I didn't treat you. <laughs> That, that do you know what it? No, but do you know what it is? Yeah, I feel like it's easy for people to have an opinion because they're not living in the villa. And as in, like we've come to tell you, like oh, before Castle, we had a conversation. You lot don't know that. We, we and do. you know what? I real as it is, yeah, <laughs> like know. cool, <laughs> yeah, like I was pissed off. But it's like, respectfully, I'm not gonna pop off. Like, like I've not even slept with the guy. Like we're just dating. Like we're just talking to each other. Thank so you. why am I moving mad? Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like I, I get it. But like obviously. I haven't watched anything, so no. Now like, you've obviously, it back oh, and back and this yeah. morning I like I kind of watched a clip, yeah, so I get it. it. Mm. I get it. Like I watched a clip and I was a little bit. What like, made you watch the clip today? I couldn't sleep. Oh, why is it that one? Yeah, that, I don't that gonna help you sleep. I was. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? This is what happens, oh, yeah, when you're so up at night, and I was just scrolling on Twitter oh. and like just looking through like my fan pages and like everything, and I thought. Let me see what you're not really mad about. Mm. So I, I just went on ITV Hub and I just clicked on one of them and I thought, let me just have a look. Fast forward to Pacific Park, I thought, are you fucking joking? Mm. Do you know what I mean? And it's like, I get how they chop and screw things mm. because when I watched that, I was like, this is why do you think is this man? Mm. Like, I get it. Do mm. you know what I mean? But again, you don't see everything and the conversations that we had and it's like, it's difficult. It's mm. difficult. And also mm. as well, you, it's difficult mm. to control feelings, right? Mm. Because I think yeah. Summer herself used her own mouth to say, this is how I felt. Yes. But Damien was very clear on mm -hmm. what it was that he wanted. Mm -hmm. So you've got somebody feeling a certain way, but then you've got another person telling you, listen, you ultimately India is, for, is the one for me. Mm -hmm. But there's no, you know, but you as a woman, like, you can understand yeah. why she would feel the way she yeah. felt. Because exactly. you're a woman and you know how you know how it goes. Yeah. So it's difficult. And obviously you're in it. So mm -hmm. it's difficult for you not to feel a little bit mm. annoyed. Mm. Yeah. But you know, you decided where your heart lays. So you have to work through that. Yeah. Now watching it though, like I like I actually understood like yeah. where Summer came from. And I want to watch it. I was like, okay, I understand. Yeah. But it's this <laughs> fucking 
Bust oh, no. Like, why do you have to do that? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's like, oh, you're acting like yourself and he's bit. I don't I don't know why she might have caught feelings. Like, it's not, no, I'm not yeah. saying I'm not saying I don't are know why. I'm not saying yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> like, I actually understand where someone's coming from as well. Mm. I'm not saying I don't understand mm. why she caught feelings, but in those things that we did. I still was very explicit on mm. where my feelings lied. And like, that's fine. That's, yeah, no, it's fine, but I'm not in control of her. Like, I, as a human being, not even as a woman or a man, literally it's up to you to make your own decisions. If I tell you, oh, this is where I'm at, if you still want to keep trying to pursue me and to try and feel like mm. you can change it, mm. that's not my, like, on the outside world, before Love Island, it's not my business. Mm. I Like, generally to God, yeah. it, like, I was, I'm not trying to be rude or anything. Mm. It's not like, or I don't have, like, I actually genuinely care for people. Mm-hmm. That's why I say what it is. Mm-hmm. So if I say what it is and you decide, okay, this is not for me, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to, I'm not toxic. I'm not going to chase you or try to ring you down. But mm-hmm. if you feel like you still want to be in this situation to try to, I'm not going to. I get that. And that's absolutely fine. Like, obviously, yeah, cool, whatever. But I think it's just like a self awareness thing. Yeah. Like, as in like, cool, you understand why people feel a certain way. But it's like, if you're self-aware, be like, okay, my actions is making this person catch Yeah, but feeling. I am self-aware because I knew. Do you know that? Yeah, but the thing is, I, yeah, do I that do that. Yeah, but I am, yeah. Yeah, but the thing is, because I'm self-aware is why I'm being, <coughs> I'm actually vocalizing what I'm feeling for someone else. If I wasn't self-aware, I wouldn't have done any of that. And I wouldn't actually, I'll just continue but it's, what it's, I'm doing. It's, yeah, no, that's true. But it's like me vocalizing like, oh God, I love Dami so much. No, but, but I'm still, no, I did say I love like, you at still, that point. Yeah, yeah I'm just being really happy. <laughs> yeah, but it's like me saying point. someone like, oh yeah, I'm like so into it. But then like yeah. someone it's else is trying even, to move me and I'm flirting with them. Like obviously I, they're going to Okay, yeah, I hear I hear you, but I can only be myself. And the person that I was before the villa is who I like. Yeah. After again, a few chats and all this stuff to kind of tell me, oh, remember who you are. It's like, okay, yeah, I can only be this person. And then with Summer, like, She's she's a cool person. Like in that space yes. and time, she was a cool person. I, I liked hanging out with her. Mm-hmm. We could talk about this, talk about that. So like it was it was kind of bantering, flowing yeah, around, yeah. doing all these little mm-hmm. things. But my feelings like didn't change. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like no, I was no, able no. to do all that, but my feelings didn't change. And I just because this self awareness, because I was self aware mm-hmm. and I know how things could obviously you know make someone feel. I'm telling you how I feel each step of the way, yeah. just so you know. Mm-hmm. Like, I think that's but, but, but I think, yeah, because I was going to say that, do you see how, no, if, I, if you, you, you're you telling, so your heart is somewhere else and your mind is somewhere else, right. but your lips in someone else. It's not even that, no, but the thing is, it's like, that's what I'm saying. I'm not in a relationship with India. No, I know. But what I'm, I guess what I'm saying is that as a woman, like yeah, for me. I like, think it's as a woman thing. Yeah. Like we, we, if, if a, a man is. <laughs> we see things differently. Yeah. Like if, a if a man, man is, is coming lipsy, to if me. If a man's coming to me, lips in me and whatever, but then he's saying to By the way, I'm still with my baby mom. Yeah. 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 you're lips saying, in me. What, what do you saying, mean? I wasn't saying, no, I wasn't saying it's like, oh, I'm still with my baby mama kind of sense. It's like. I'm just telling you, like, I don't feel like it's going to be easy for you to take me away from India. Yeah. Like, because so I you, built, you were I built, just doing things for the crack. No, I wasn't, I mean, yeah. not doing it for no, the let's crack. Be no, no, let's no, be not honest. No, no, not for the, yeah, for the crack and not for the crack at the same time. Because, like, for half a crack. For half a crack. <laughs> yeah, half a crack. <laughs> Irish people know for half a crack, like, just for half a crack. <laughs> but no, no, it wasn't just because generally someone was actually a cool person. And I'm, t- I'm being real. I didn't know what India was doing mm, yeah, in, yeah. in her own, uh, the own other side. So it's like, I'm still obviously like it's like I was still open to actually like yeah. trying to see develop a connection here and there if if there actually is something, but I was still like relaying that like I actually don't think it's going to be easy for me to take away from India, mm. but I still have to be open minded because at the mm-hmm. end of the day I don't know what India is going to come back doing yeah. like because there's things that I've been like obviously you have chats and all this stuff and then there's things that you're being told yeah. and then it's like it makes you speculate like oh she could actually be doing this or she could yeah. come back with someone else and then for me to like the thing is I was actually fully like accepting like if you came back with someone else. And I was single. If I really want you, that I'll still try my hardest to get you back. Mm. But at the end of the day, it's still like, wait, why am I? Why am I going to do that? Just let me actually try just this. Yeah. And yeah. Yourself, like we're not in a not, not because, And for me, real. it's either I'm, I, yeah, obviously we're different, but it's either I'm fully in or I'm not at mm. all. Because yeah. there's no point in me like I'm not trying to do any halfway thing or mm-hmm. I'll just talk to you because mm-hmm. I won't gauge anything from that. Whereas mm-hmm. like we're kissing and all this stuff. Mm-hmm. How long was Casa Amor for? Four days. I think it was shorter than what it usually days. would be because four I feel like we gave them enough night. content. <laughs> they were saying, no, guys, I, I, I used to watch Love Island. Like, what does he do? It was four like, four four yeah. I think it but usually it is. Four days. I think it usually is, but because of how... I think we had an you extra day. You like, guys went in. It went man. so quick, yeah. though. Like, Casper, like, when it was time to go home, I was thinking, literally, I was the last person to pick because, I'm not going to lie, I wasn't trying to pick any. Like, mm. any, like mm. yeah, I had conversations that was nice and it was great, but I was the last. So I was like, please, I don't want to yeah. do this. <laughs> like, I don't want to take anyone home. But yeah. they, when they said to me, like, this is me, India, 
You don't know what Dami's doing. That's what he said to me. They said that. That's what he said to me. Hey, so, I was the after... last person to oh pick because hand on heart, I was coming back by myself. Even even I after then, everything, you're going. They said they said to me like, oh okay. A part of me, yeah, like I was 70, 30. I was 70% sure that Dami was going to be single mm. and 30% that he'd be with someone. So like, obviously I was like, okay, cool. Okay, yeah, I'm trying to study and it's going great and he's a nice guy. But the Jamaican me was like, don't be a fucking mug. Mm. Like, just, just bring him back, mm. Jamie, just bring him back. But for me, yeah, it was 60, 40 for me. I was like, 60. I won't lie. She's saying something. I was, oh I was 40. I, I was, I was 40. I was 70, she's coming back 30. with someone else. Because the way, I don't know, the way, like, I'd have conversations with them and I'd be saying, I don't want to do this. The, I, I don't want to do that. And then they'll be like, oh, are you, are you sure you don't want... And I'll be like, wait, okay, yeah. hold on. Yeah. There's like... No, because they were, there was they were thing, even yeah. saying to me, like, there was, one thing, no, go. there was one thing that tipped me over the edge, yeah? I literally, like... It was after the first time I kissed... I kissed <laughs> what you was know, your tip? No, I thought you fuck it, tip. man. Fuck it, man. What it was actually the first time I kissed I kissed somewhere, yeah? I didn't... After I felt guilty, mm -hmm. not because of, like, oh... Like, it's just because I felt like I couldn't relate uh, to India what I was doing. Because yeah. I, I usually, I'm just honest and vocalizing mm. stuff that I'm doing mm. to people on the outside. But I couldn't do that. So I didn't want to, like, talk to someone. I didn't want to do anything mm. with someone. But then, obviously, I still have to be our friend because it's kind of, you're coming to this new place, mm. still be there for her. So we're tired and all this stuff, talking and all that. And then I remember, like, there was a cue when I should have kissed her. But I didn't kiss her. I didn't want to kiss her. And I literally the the. When you say cue, what do you mean? Like, you know when you're talking to someone and you can get the feeling like, oh, okay, yeah. Wait, this is this on the terrace? No, no, this wasn't, this was after the terrace, like okay. after I've done it, because I didn't want to do anything anymore. Like yeah. I was done. I said, you know what? I'm not doing anything anymore. <laughs> I didn't want to. No, no, literally. And then literally like, I was like, obviously like um, talking to her and there was a cue where I should have kissed her, but I didn't do it. And the conversation went on and I got pulled out and they were like, oh, Ed, why didn't you kiss her? Oh I was, my and God. I was, and I was like, because I don't, I was like, Jenny said, because I don't want to kiss her. Mm. And they're like, stop being a pussy. <gasps> And I was like, Sorry, no, no, the thing is, the thing is, I'm not trying to be funny. No, no, I'm not trying to be funny yet. But as soon as they said that to me, I was like, Calm, you want the show? I'll give you a fucking show. <laughs> and I, I know, I know, I'm not saying like, oh, they kind of like influence, like, obviously I have my own mind. I did stuff myself because at the same time, I didn't know what she was doing. Mm -hmm. And it's like, the way everything was, it was feeling is like, I don't know, sis could have been yeah. doing what she was doing as well. So it was like, let me, I, I acted a bit too wild, I won't lie. But the thing for me is, when, no, no, I, I went a bit too wild. But the thing for me is, when I'm already like in this situation, you like, fuck it, innit? Fuck it, man, honest mm. to God, just fuck it. Like at this point, I don't know what you're going to come back doing. Mm. And then yeah. for me to like, just be sitting there with Luca. Mm. <laughs> and then somehow you come back, you come back with Deji somehow. It's like, why was I fucking doing it? Because I would, I would actually, honestly, I would be disappointed in myself mm. if I sat still and I wasn't actually who I was on the outside. Yeah. Like, and then it's like, you come back with someone else and you're telling me, oh, you did this and that. I'd actually mm. feel like, oh, damn, you, you literally played, you, you played up you played. for the camera and you, you're not you. So then even like, oh, sorry, before you go in, when oh, it comes to like, oh, picking who you're going to come back with, even after everything I did, I said, I didn't want, I said, I'm coming back single. I even said to them, I don't care if India's with someone else, mm. I'm coming back single. They're like, We'll give you a few more hours. To <gasps> and I was like, oh, and I was like, was, what? I was like, okay, okay, all right, cool. A few more hours went in. All right, okay, all right. <laughs> I'll, I'll come back. I'll come back. Okay, cool. And then obviously things just happen, and it's like, mm. I get it though. Like honest to God, yeah. like I know what I signed up for, so I'm not blaming anyone for yeah. Yeah. any of the stuff. It's like I'm still my own person. I still did yeah. what I did, and it's, it's up to me mm. to do what I did. But it's like. It makes sense. The mind games it's kind of... Like, it's like you, you don't, it, yeah. you're not... Because they, can, they, they can't yeah. tell you anything what the other they person is doing. They can't say it, but I think... Because it got to a point... I don't know about you, but like it got to a point where I was in such turmoil. I was like, oh, for fuck's sake, I don't want to do this. And they really had to say to India, babe, you don't know what he's doing in the main villa. Mm -hmm. And when I heard yeah, that, I thought, right, cool, let, let, let me come back. Yeah, they couldn't, they couldn't, they couldn't, <laughs> they couldn't tell me, though, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because like, you when you're having chats, like, I'm trying to get things. I'm like, just fucking... What is he doing? Yeah. Like, has he got someone? And they're like, no, just you know, just have a chat with people in the village, have fun. And then the final day, when it's time to pick, I was the last person to pick, and I, I literally said to Meg, I was like, Megan, please, I don't know what to do. Like, I honestly, I don't want to bring him back. He's a nice guy. We're getting along. It's calm, mm. but really and truly, I, I just, I just want to go out to Jamie. She was like, babe, but you don't know what he's doing in the main oh villa. God. I said, yeah, cool, oh. babe, you're coming home. But I hear, I hear, I hear, I hear it though, because it would have been boring if you just came back. Yeah. So. yeah. And that's how it. they I make their it. TV like, show. It's a good yeah. TV, exactly. it's a good TV show. You got, you guys did what you need to do. Mm. It's a good yeah. TV show. I'm not, I'm not. But I mean, I feel like it. the things where it's like, you sometimes though, you need that sort of like, mm. snap out of it. Because yeah. like, as much as I was just like, oh God, I want to go back to Dami, like, it was a snap, like, in the real world. Be, 
be fucking for real. Yeah. Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, would I even be, <laughs> would I even be like double taking this? Guy? I'd be like, be yeah, let's go. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm, so, I'm, I'm really glad. Yeah, they, they, even though, even though you out didn't out like Deji in the way that, you know, you liked Like, he was a nice guy, but it wasn't, you couldn't compare it. It wasn't Dami, but I'm glad that you brought him back. I'm glad that you brought him back. Yeah, no, definitely. I'm glad that you brought him back. It made, it made, well, to be honest, it helps you, it helps you, Dami. Oh, I would have always. Because imagine if, if, if no, but I knew, back, I knew she was coming back with someone. Was. Like, I, it was hard only because I, I had feelings for Dami. I was like, oh, my Dami. But in my mind, I was like, babe, let's go. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, of course I'm going to bring yeah, her back. Because yeah. with me, it's like, I'm actually, like, it's not me you're going to make look like a dickhead. Yeah. <laughs> mixing. Have you, have you ever had the, the apple juice is finished. What? No, what? He's oh, mixing. Finished. You're, you're going to have a stomach. No, no, no. We have places to be after here. Don't worry. That's going to turn your stomach. My stomach's no. already torn. You're not heavy on the show. He's Irish. He knows what he's doing. He's true that. Come on. Oil I don't know. The Irish dream. We have dinner to go to after this. Okay. No, this is actually nice. No, that's good. It's good that he, you have dinner. Then? Where are you guys going to eat? Uh, Scion Lounge. Scion Lounge. Shout out to you guys. Okay. Scion? Is yeah. That, I've heard it before. Like, low... No, no, it's not that. Oh, that you're thinking about like, Hyatt. Like, no, Leon. Where's your one? Where's your one? I've heard of it. Bears. It's 25 minutes from Brixton, is it? It's very popular. It's, the, it's very popular. Never eat shredded wheat. It's on the west side. Well, oh, okay. I say that as well. Never, never eat, eat shredded, shredded wheat. wheat. Yeah, we say that. Irish yeah. Yeah. Are you, you're you not Irish. No, no, no. no. It's, it's not, not Irish. Irish. Yeah. That's how you're not like, from here. It's not an Irish thing. It's like, I know, but like, do you really need to use that to get around? No, no, but to let know you're not Irish. And I've heard of it, but I never have to refer to it. Really? Yeah. But some things you have to refer to. Don't be acting like never eat shredded wheat. Yeah, but I just never refer to it. Where I'm going. Nah, I, I don't know London, so it's like yeah, I have no, to kind of remember where the place was yeah. on the map. Where like, was it then? Was it? Never eat shredded wheat. Where? Have you ever, have you guys? <laughs> West Indian. Ha ha ha. Before you guys went to um, Casa Moor, have you had your hearts broken? No. No. That's what never had a heart. No. That's I've broken people's hearts by accident. You say you're a heart. Mm. By accident. But, and it's like, you never said you're a heart. By accident. You never said you're a heart. Stop. It wasn't everything. No, it's like anytime. situation. Stop. Let me stop the cast. It wasn't acting anytime. like, I didn't know they were going to be upset. Yeah. Yeah. Anytime, uh, anytime this girl, me and her are about to beef, she goes, you don't know who I am. Yeah. You don't know who I am. Like, do you think you're going to, she goes, do you think you're going to play with me? I was like, oh. You don't know who I am. Okay. Like, for her to say it's an accident. Yeah. She's chatting shit. Yeah, she's chatting shit. Know who I you am. don't know who I am. Hey, you're a real, real um, <laughs> It takes a long time for it to get out. Do you think I'm a dumper? What stars? What stars are you? I'm Sagittarius. Yeah. Sagittarius. Yeah. That, 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 that very fiery. Yeah, that they're, they're fiery. Yeah, very, it's not even fiery. It's sort of like I'll say what's on my mind. If I'm upset, I, I'm not afraid to vocalize that I'm yeah, upset. Yeah. Do you know what I mean, it don't matter if it's one month later. Like I'm still gonna say <laughs> like it. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> this morning, mm -hmm. like this morning. if it's on my chest, I'm like, get it out. Do you know what I mean? Aww. What did you say? Yeah. He said he still love me. Y'all look cute. Oh, so like, what is he doing? Why, why, what, why, what, why is he trying to chuck that in there? He's I'm an Aries. Well. I'm the calmer. I'm the calmer. Do you know what? He is a bit like he is a bit raz, but he is actually quite calm. I'm calmer than you. you are, no, yeah, actually, you are. He is calmer than me. Do you know what I mean? Like, he is crazy, but he is a lot calmer than me. I'll be real about that. We know. We know. So, tell me one thing that gives you the ick about Dami. One thing. Damn. The way he, um, I love you so much, but the way you eat, babe. Yeah. He's like he, eat, he eats like he's never oh. seen food before. Oh, that's a, that's, that's a, a natural. It's a, it's it's not, like, no, it's not a mantic because some men actually thing. eat with decorum and eloquence. I don't even I don't even me. need him to do pro and pro, but it's like, babe, the food isn't going. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't know when just, I'm eating. It's even when I drink as well. I drink. It's like I drink fast. Oh, even Do alcohol, he's drinking it like water. And he's not even drunk. Yeah, but I'm not even drunk. I'm like, can you save the moe for people that? Well, the only thing I, I do every I do eat in the food, but the only thing I do slow is sex, so it's calm. Oh, oh. There you go. That's all that matters. That's a slow and you don't That's complain about that one. <laughs> <laughs> I get feedback after every session. <laughs> oh Lord, sorry about it. It's it's like, oh, man. Google, Google review. review. Google review. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me <laughs> one, one thing about India then. What the annoys, that annoys man, thing. punctuality, honestly, oh. God. If, if, I'm sorry. I'm not, no, no, I hear, I hear, but honest, God, because even my family, we're just punctual people. Like it's not even like. We just like, cause out of respect for other people mm -hmm. or whatever, it's like if you plan something, like I know like some things might be more important, but if I plan something, that thing that I'm supposed to be as my priority, I'm going to yeah. be there on time. Because mm -hmm. it's about like, 
relationship with that person and talking that's why even though she was late i was coming on time mm. because I, I still wanted to talk to you guys so it doesn't yeah. seem like both of us as a yeah. collaborate mm. are late mm. she's individually <laughs> late i am punctual yeah. but i just i just want to put it out there that like the whole lateness is not a disrespectful thing. Like, I don't think anyone else's time is more like, like my time is more valuable than anyone else's. It's just something that I, think she might have ADHD. I have to work on. Really? I think is, I might have ADHD. Yeah. They, 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 like certain traits, but I don't know. I've not been diagnosed. Mm. But like, I genuinely like don't think I'm above the law or above mm. people. You might like, not, I'm you might not I'm actually consciously trying. think that. Yeah. You think so? The thing is, I had I hear, to, I I had to recognize it in my, saying, though, I had to recognize it in myself mm, as well. That I do sometimes think that what I've got to do is more important than, what, like, it's like, than what I'm going to do, and yeah. I, I didn't even think about it properly. Mm. But the thing is, one of the books that I've, I've got quite a lot of self help books. One of the books that I've read is basically talking about punctuality and mm -hmm. the importance of time and you mm. have to respect time if you want to be successful you do you and really things like have i'm to. fully aware of these things mm. like i know how like it's like a domino effect. If you're late, it can ruin so much shit. Yeah. Like, you ha do you know what I mean? Like, if you're not here on time, you could potentially miss out on opportunity, blah, blah, blah. But it's like, even today, like, I just, I don't even know, like, what happened. That's what Anna like, like, May was saying. It's just like, sometimes you're self sabotaging and you don't yeah. even realize yeah. how you, you are. Get, you get and it's like, I'm genuinely yeah. trying. It's like, I, I, I can't leave the house without my ponytail on. Like, I got to put it yeah. on. And then that's like another thing. Do you and know what I, I mean? Like, I feel like when you're pressured and you're rushing, it's like anxiety it comes in. So it's like, oh shit, wait, I need to do this. And then you're not. Actually, like, mm. I think one thing I've learned about myself is like, which I like, I'm trying on is like, I'll start one thing and then like, I'll move on to the other without. So it's like, I'm always doing something yeah. new and it's like, yeah. shit, you Not need to finishing. calm well, down, I saw, relax, I saw, I saw, and finish I saw, I saw you doing the like what you're once. doing. Remember huh? when I was in your room and I was what waiting for you to get ready <laughs> and then you just got sidetracked on your phone? Yeah, like, I don't know, I just need to work on it. That's me. another thing as well. Do you use the sleep mode on your phone? On the, oh, the, what, for the, the alarm? No, the do not disturb mode. No, it comes on automatically at night time and it's like time for me to but like, wind down. But during the day, but... you need to turn do that as well? Yeah, I don't if have it. If you put the do not disturb, just press the, what is, it's a, a I blue, just don't, like, I don't even yeah, have it on, but I don't even like. Just turn it off and put your phone face down mm. when what, you know you when sleep? no when you no, know like you've got general. to do something. Oh yes, when you know you've got to do something because it's so distracting that you don't mm. even realize. And mm. the thing is, you both of you have got so much ahead of oh, you mate. right yeah. now that if you're not kind of organized, some things are going to slip through your fingers. Yeah, yeah. and I just and because I don't think you realize what you've got coming ahead of you. Mm -hmm. I don't think I have. Like I feel like I was. I don't know if it's you or whoever else, but like I've kind of like come out the villa and like it's cool, but it's like you don't just like you're just taking everything as like a big fat joke. It's like okay, let's just go with the flow. It's not a joke. You don't, no, no, it's but not a it's, joke. It's, it's, but it's, like, it's like, like okay, let me adjust to it. But it's like you have to adjust, and mm -hmm. it's like this is now this is my job. This is my nine to five. And like, for some people it's like unrealistic and unreasonable, but it's like the things that I stress about, that's reasonable to me because now like, I don't have the normal reasonable anymore. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? So stuff that I'm stressing about, people look up and like, oh, I'm like, why the fuck are you stressing about? It's like, well, this is all I have to stress about. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So like, I understand, but it's like, I think, I don't know, like it's new. Yeah. I'm organized. I don't know. I, she's and I feel like well. I'm organized. Yeah, he is very. But I mean, even you, that at a point though, both of you have got ridiculous. Like, like your trajectories are Potential like, like we're really excited for what you guys have got mm. coming up. Even the stuff that you haven't told us about, but yes, we, so, yeah, 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 we know, we know the <laughs> yeah. kind of things we're that like, we know the kind of things that are going to start coming your way. Yeah. You know, guys, don't don't sleep people, on that. Some people feel like I don't have deals and stuff. It's coming, babes. It's, it's not even like we, coming. We They've come. But I've yeah. said no to some it, of them yeah. and I can't. But I feel like yeah. people know, like, do you know what I mean? Like, he's, a, people, he's a fly guy. No, but some people don't know. They feel like, they feel like some people say, oh, Dami just, Dami's on interviews. He's doing this and that. But why his other friends doing? The thing is, there are stuff that has come to me, yeah. but I've said no in, in line of yeah. what I want for myself. Mm -hmm. And they pay big money. Don't think I can't get the bag. I already got the bag. Yeah, but it's that, just like, <laughs> I kind of have to navigate myself in a way that I want it for myself. And then later on, we can circle back and we can yeah. do all those other You're being things, strategic. Yeah, yeah. It's just like Dam D Dami the shared, Dami, Dami shared certain things behind the scenes with us and trust me. There's a lot coming. There's, they're big things. There's, there's a lot coming. So yeah. you guys just be patient, continue supporting both of them on their social media, whatever they're doing. Engagement, is, engagement so is key. Mm. Continue supporting them, following them, resharing everything mm. that they're doing. Trust me, the stuff yeah. that they've got coming is lit. Well, yeah, guys, yeah. Indy hit a milli. So what are we saying about Woo! that? <laughs> <laughs> million, 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 right. million, million, million. That's so crazy. right. So, 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 how do you guys feel about that? Because we were actually talking about this on the way, right? Because I was saying that 
I, I, I totally understand from like an optics point of view what it looks like to be a milli, but for me, it's more about the engagement. Is your page popping? Yeah. Because yeah. there's people that have got a million and their page is dead. No, no. But I totally right, understand right. about- It's about engagement as well for me. Definitely. Yeah. So you're actually right with that. Mm -hmm. Her page is pop. Mm -hmm. how, yeah, your page is so, so how does that feel? Um, it feels good. Do you know what? It feels good that as in like the people that are following me yeah. are supporting yeah. me. Yeah. And do you know what I mean? When I'm posting my pictures and I'm dressing as me, like they're liking me for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I was saying to Dami, like, I'm glad that I didn't hit a mill when I was in the villa. Mm -hmm. I came out with like 500K. Yeah. So like from like leaving to now, that extra 500 is people liking me yeah. for me, organic, my yeah. style, how I do, me. do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So like, it's much more like, it means so much more. Yeah. So like, we literally, we hit, I hit it like when we were in um Ireland, um, in yeah. Dami's apartment. Oh. And I got my tattoo as well, like the first time. Oh, what tattoo? Because she got someone on her toes. She got a little tattoo, tattoo. Oh, on her toes. Oh, I actually haven't even seen That's that since so that day. That's so random. <laughs> you haven't seen it? Since that day. You haven't looked at it. How's it going to be looking what, at your In your what? boots. Just look at it. Oh. <laughs> and you've had plenty of opportunity. Okay. Yeah, I, I mean, it's been what there. Made you, what made you get a toe on your toe? Your toe? I don't know. Do you know what? I've always wanted a smiley face on my toe. Like, yeah. I don't know why. Mm. But that also, so my pain so threshold is so bad. It's even underneath it's the It's literally like right on the big toe. Under the toe. But like, I have a bad pain threshold. I was like, let me get something small yeah. that no one will see so I can just test the pain. Do you know yeah. what I mean? See if I... What another tattoo, but now I got this. Like, I'm ready to inked up. Yeah, this is it. On a scale of one, one to one. ten, yeah. On a scale of one to ten, what was the toe like? No, the toe didn't hurt. Like the first prick really did hurt, mm. but then after that it was fine. Like it was definitely about like a four. Oh. But it wasn't. It wasn't like the gun. It was. What was it called? Like. It was stick and poke. Stick and poke. She oh. did stick and poke. So I think that is a little bit less painful. Mm -hmm. oh. And I think she went easy on me because after the first perk, I said, don't you dare. Yeah. <laughs> said, don't you dare. <laughs> so, oh. so you do want to get more tattoos? Yeah, I want to get maybe like one cute little dainty one and that's oh. it. I think, Dami, you got one on your back, right? Yeah, yeah you got, got one on your back. Yeah. He's got, got a lot of tattoos. Well. Though. Yeah. You can finally see it now. now, the, now on the, now the camera, the, like, now, the light now the light is Yeah, You can finally see it. I got one here. I'm not going to lift my Yeah. <laughs> man hasn't been gym in a while. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. No, you've got a lot though. So, yeah, I'm, so I'm going to finish this though. Oh, okay, yeah, whole sleeve, yeah. Yeah, you've yeah. got half sleeves, haven't you? You guys you, got half sleeves. Oh, really? You have yeah. tattoos in your half. Oh, my God, that's good. Yeah. Cool. Damn, sis. Yeah. Yeah. Just a little bit. The detail's good. Damn. Yeah. I've got half sleeves. Wow. I've, I've, I haven't got half sleeves. I've got a little bit. She was bit. too scared. Yeah, too scared. It hurts, though, isn't it? It's painful. I mean, I've got a couple. It doesn't hurt. No, like... Wait till the island vlog comes out. and really? And see if it doesn't hurt. Yeah. The island vlog... Yeah, but the back ones, I didn't feel... Like, if I'm doing on my arm, I don't feel... It's not that, because I can see the pain. Yeah. I'm yeah. doing on my back, I can't see. It's like, oh, okay. and I have to wait for the dun, dun. Yeah. and then you go into different areas of my back that's most. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 but you yeah. have to kind of like hold it. But when you can see it, it's different, it's like, bearable. it's different. Yeah, it's yeah. more bearable. It definitely has. So, so are you guys going to have a joint YouTube channel? What What, what are you guys nah, doing? No, we then? believe, we don't believe separate, in the course. Separate yeah. YouTube channels. We'll be on each other's YouTube channels. Yeah, YouTube channels but like I was well. saying we might do like a, um, like a section for like dammy of vlogs because mm -hmm. we're going to be vlogging a lot do you yeah. know what I mean but separate YouTube channels only because apparently there's a curse out there like when you mm -hmm. make a couple's YouTube oh. apparently you split up yeah, you I know agree. what I'd agree so I'm like I was just going to take away separate. from that but I feel like even when we're doing like because sometimes we're in the same place and like and it's like the same, same it's the same vlog so it's yeah, like well it but I want like it's different perspectives though yeah, yeah true. so I so, get I get it because yeah. I'm more crazy <laughs> <laughs> She's more, <laughs> she's more indie baby, you know. But I think Defo is separate because yeah. like yeah. me, like I'll do my hair, my makeup, yeah, yeah, yeah. like his fashion and whatever. Yeah, yeah, so like yeah. people want to see like different things, relate to different things. But like mm -hmm. for vlogs, Defo will have like joint for vlogs. Yeah. Yeah. If because we're gonna be together, do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. So so five years time. What what what's the future? What what do you guys? Five do years. Oh, it's giving job interview. Five. Separate, separate. Yeah. Did you see five. Years. five. Years. five. Yes. What are your goals? Whoa. All right. Well, how old are you? In five years. All right. Say what? two years. In, in, the years in the next two years. In the next two years. What would what, what you like to do in the next two years? Okay. Do you know what? Let's congratulate you first. Congratulations oh. on your PLT <gasps> sustainable yes. deal. Your boots yeah. deal. Yes, Congratulations. You're yeah. kept in the bags up and down. We love it. We love to see it. boots. You need to give Dami a men's grooming deal because we need mm. some men's grooming. We need something. Black men. His yeah. skin is amazing. Mm. Everything shining. is on point. So we it's need shining. some kind of men's grooming stuff. For, but whether it's boots or whoever, just whoever, we need Dami doing something. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> deal. How did you? How, how did you feel? Like, what, like, how did you feel about the deals and what, what are you excited about? Just 
crazy. There's there's more on the way. <laughs> of course. Yeah, I, was, I, was, I was about to say for you guys, but I don't want to say it. Off the record, off the record, off the record. Yeah, we will cut this out. We'll cut it out. Back on the record. Yeah, really. On the record, on the record. <laughs> no, but no, like I'm just honestly so grateful. Do you know what I mean? Like it's nice when like brands notice you for you. Like I've always been a fan of makeup, mm. hair, and just doing me. Do you know what mm. I mean? So if I can do it with them, why not? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm. And if I can show my talent and you know do it to people that can relate to me, why not? Mm. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because I feel like as much as there's there's so many black influencers out there, but people want to know. Sometimes how to slick the hair up. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like it's not it's not every day we want to do yeah, a lace front. Exactly. Like because with me it's like I know black hair is hard to maintain. Mm. Do you know what I mean? But like what I said to myself is like, how can I not know how to manage something that I was born with? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's my duty. I need to know how to take care of my hair because it's mine. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So I don't want to take the easy way out mm. and have to perm my hair because it's like, oh, I can't be honest to deal with the girls. Mm. I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes, yeah, heat damages the way and let me just get this slick bun. Mm. I went like in the villa. <laughs> and I was like, how did you maintain it? I said, bitch, I'm straightening my hair. I'm sticking it up. I don't give a fuck. But do you know what I mean? Like, I think it is also important to know how to manage what is yours yeah. Yeah. so i feel like you know if i can teach people that and let them know that you know you don't you don't have to resort to a wig every time yeah. do you know what i mean like love your hair do you know what i mean manage it slick it up do whatever hairstyle you want to do so i feel like you know being given that platform to do that like a big company like boots that sells like makeup hair products i'm ready mm. to just let my queens know babes we can do this together okay oh, this together. that is amazing Amazing. Amazing. And and the PLT, the PLT. Explain to us what, what the app is about. Explain to us. Oh, the app. Yes. Oh, I thought we were getting to the details. Okay, <laughs> we can. No, no, no. Let's talk about whatever you want to talk about. Okay. How long? Okay. 10 minutes. We'll wrap it up. It's fine. After okay, well. Minutes. I guess I'll just basically explain like PLT Marketplace. Mm -hmm. It's basically just a reselling app. People thought initially you can only like resell like PLT garments mm. on there, but it's not. It's Everything. anything that you want to wear. Mm -hmm. So like similar to like your Depop, your Ebays, whatever, but it's all in one place. Mm -hmm. Like when I saw Marketplace, I was like, cool, I can buy my designer, I can buy whatever and put it up there. Mm -hmm. I can style my pieces and do me and I'm still going to have my own collection within the Marketplace. Coming soon. Anyway, do you know what I mean? So and, I, and mean. I think another reason why what you're doing is really, really key is because of this cost of living thing. Mm -hmm. This oh. is an opportunity for people to actually make some money and, save and to money. save some money. Mm. So what you're doing yeah. is really, really key. And, but then when he came to, like with the whole like marketplace, like, okay, cool. You know, it can be sustainable. We can re -well, we can resell, like everything like that. And then also I felt like it was an opportunity for me to give back. Yeah. Like as in I was making sure like, when I first said that, I said, everything black i am switching it up mm. donations mm. is going to jamaica yeah. models like my campaign my best friends were in it like i wow. wanted it to be as mm. inclusive as possible and i feel like being given that platform and it's like not being funny i'm finna run with it mm. because you don't get these opportunities yeah. every day mm. do you know what i mean i feel like with the marketplace i can still show my style mm. i'm not you know just to one brand i can yeah. still wear whatever i want to wear and show you guys that you can mix high end you yeah, know like fast fashion mm -hmm. high street everything together and still look good yeah. you know mm -hmm. so i think that's why i went for it and yeah brilliant totally it aligned with me love, yeah. love that for you i think um obviously dami's there's a lot of things dami's got going on that you can't really say i wish so i could but i can we we i'm sure it's you know we we want to announce it because we're constantly keeping up with you guys. So we're like, <laughs> I feel like you guys, like you guys are gonna be wild, but you're not gonna be surprised because mm. he's the man. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, yeah. like when yeah. when you see a drop, it's, it's like crazy. I get it, <laughs> I get it. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like it's gonna be worth the wait. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. we knew he that. ain't we regular. Knew. Definitely. <laughs> and well, Sammy, Sammy, are you doing anything with Virgin? We saw you on like Virgin TV. Yeah, or something. Um, they're trying to get me to do like uh, my own presenting thing. Uh -huh. so that's like in mm. talks, but. Mm -hmm. Aside from present, yeah, but they're actually trying to get me to do that. I did a lot of like, I don't know, I just did a lot of stuff for them. So we have a relationship and they're trying to get me like, so my foot is always kind of in Ireland as well. Yeah. So I'm trying to do a lot of stuff that it's like, I'm not separating away from Ireland because I'm, I'm an Irish boy. Yeah. I'm not from the UK. Yeah. So I still want to do stuff that's way in Ireland. And they're trying to like, obviously pan that out and sort it out for me. I'm trying to like map it out how I can do it, mm -hmm. but they're trying to get me into presenting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, all this stuff. That'll be good for definitely you. Now. I can yeah. definitely see you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think for us, we just want to say a big thank you for you guys taking the effort to come and talk to us. No. Mm -hmm. You know, we we're really really proud of you guys. Mm -hmm. Like we've been we've been proud since you guys were in the house. We've even got a theme tune for you, lot. Exactly. No, literally. <laughs> we, want to earlier. Yeah. we need to get this on a on a tape. Yeah. Maybe it could be like a YouTube intro for the vlog. Something because that is. 
business class. Yeah, you know what I mean? No, That's we, we just love you guys, seriously. Oh, no. Like, we're really, really proud of you. Like, obviously, mm-hmm. we said we want everyone black to win, but it just so happens that you guys are just cool people as yeah. well. Yeah. So you're not, you're not just black, you're good representation. You For us, we felt that you guys were well, uh, well-rounded people mm-hmm. and we're not expecting perfection and we think mm-hmm. it's unfair for people to do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. To expect perfection. You guys are just normal people living your lives mm-hmm. and you just so happen to be cool with it as well and good looking, mm-hmm. which helps, you know. So we're, just, <laughs> we're, so we're just really, really proud of you and we really, really wish you guys the best and we thank oh, you thank for you coming. thank you so much. Mm-hmm. It's been a pleasure, do you know what I mean? Like, and I didn't, obviously like, it's been so long. But like we see we see everything, do you know what I yeah. mean? And I was like, we need to get down here, do you yeah. know what I mean? But it's like, we, we were never not coming, do you know what I mean? Oh. Like, we were always... Quick know, question. Real recognised. Quick question, girl. this is a bit shady. Well, not shady, but <laughs> oh, obviously, um, Murad. <laughs> would, 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 oh. Oh, and I'm no, no. Go on, go on. Go on. Would you guys have gone on Murad? Absolutely if, if fucking he was not. <laughs> no fucking way. No. After no. he was campaigning for you guys no. to get out. No yeah. We saw that right here. No, no we way. saw your shady tweets. Always, listen, 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 we're always one step ahead. No fucking way. Because when I was seeing tweets, people were like, oh, like, Indra and Nami should never go on Murad. I'm thinking, girl, we were never. We never. Never. Okay. Never. All right, all right. That's good. We're happy. That's good. I don't um, like that guy. Oh, yeah. Never going on his thing. Mm. Hmm. Anyway, yeah. <sighs> anyway. Hey, so. <Sal. laughs> on that note. <laughs> no, so, yeah, so as we said, you know, we really, really appreciate you guys for coming. And, um, yeah, we're just excited to see what you guys have got coming up. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. I think we've asked everything. Really. Yeah, we have. And, and when, when they get their new deals and whatever, we'll bring them back on the show <laughs> and, and touch base because, yeah. you know, yeah, it's been a pleasure having you. So, guys, all you people that have been asking us, there your, your, your king and queen are here. Yeah, so, there they are. You know, they've, they've graced us with their presence. Now. <laughs> so, yeah. So, thanks, guys. Thank um, so thanks for tuning into this episode. And, yeah, we'll be back soon. Yeah. A Town. Yeah. Peace out. Peace, Peace out. out. Yeah. No, it was great. That was a good chat, man. Thank you, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no, I'm, oh, it was such a pleasure, guys. It was so fun.